Welcome. Happy Monday morning. We are live for another Painted Palooza. We have a ton of thrifted finds to paint. We are live, so it's going to be in real time. So if you're watching this on the replay, you know, just just get, get a project and let's paint together. Yeah, if you have something that you need done, you know, go grab it because it's going to be a minute. We got all this stuff we're going to finish before we end the live stream. Well, we didn't get to painting on Saturday night because we had really bad internet connection. I was like, let's just do a paint of Palooza. So let's break things out here and figure out what needs to be painted first. I would say the tree collar could go to the side because that's just a dry brush. Yep, so that's going to be quick and easy. I need to get some paint on these. I'm going to do this metal stuff here and then we have these. Are Make they faux terracotta pots or are they real terracotta They're pots? They're faux pata. So brand new, these are $7 a piece before anything's done to them. How much are we charging for these ones? $12.95 each. I'm going to get started painting those white so we can decoupage them. Okay. This has already um, got a good white base, but it needs something else. So this can go away for a minute. This can go over here. The collar needs the collar to go away because that's go. too big. So we need this, to get... This needs a base coat of something, but I don't know what. Okay. This needs salt wash. Salt wash. Ooh, I got to get that out. I forgot. Um, the duck so is I'm getting salt, salt wash first. Or the goose. Is the goose getting salt washed? Mm, no. Do okay. you want to salt wash the goose? What are we doing to it? Just painting it. Okay. No, we don't have to. I mean, we could salt wash it. It would make the paint stick better, but I think it might look weird because it's a goose. So. Okay. So these, I'll paint the metal stuff here up real quick. Gabby's going to paint with us. Leah right. was telling uh, Guy to rink one to harvest those beans along for the visit while in the tractor harvesting beans. I had a bean harvest. You want to see my bean harvest? I think <laughs> since you're in a tractor harvesting beans, you're going to be very impressed. So I've never um, let my pole beans get to the point where they're dried out. But turns out if you let the pole beans dry on the bush, you can crack them open. And I have almost a whole pint of dry beans. <laughs> it's actually very like uh, cathartic. Is that the word? That's pretty satisfying. It's pretty to pop satisfying them out of there. to pop them out of there. So, and this probably doesn't look like a lot, but this is literally like two quarts of beans cooked. So, you know, I'm getting there with my bean harvest. I'm just de-stickerifying everything. De-stickerifying is that a word? I'm gonna it go grab now. salt wash. You know, I've got um, my own urban dictionary rolling. You know, it has <laughs> to do with construction terms and crafting. We make up a lot of our own words. Some of them we probably should. All right, where is lay salt wash? It's in there. I don't see it in here. Oh, there goes the wax. We are only, it's sneaking up on me fast. We're only, we're less than two weeks away from when we go to France and then we're hopping over to England for the end of our trip. And I am super excited to be going, but then on the back of my mind, it's like this anxiety about all of the things that need to happen before we go. <laughs> But last time we went, we shared a lot of stories, a lot of Instagram pictures and things like that and kind of took you guys along with us. So I'm excited to do that again. That was really fun. Okay, so I can't find the salt wash, but I'm just going to use paint frosting to thicken up paint. Sorry, that was this. loud. Paint frosting? Okay. Are we out? We're not out. I got a five-gallon bucket of salt wash. I know. I just don't know where. We probably it took it over to the shop and used it there. I don't know. It's fine. Okay. I just need to thicken up my paint so I have some texture. So I'm going to pour uh, the cottage color is what I'm going to use because it thickens quite quickly. And you're supposed to measure 0.2% of the total volume of paint. Just I just, grip. a little snippy. That's what I'm going to do <laughs> of paint frosting. It does not take much. That's why the bottles are small. And it almost works instantly with the cottage color you're supposed, supposed to take like 12 hours but look it's already like thick like frosting i'm gonna set these back here for a minute that's why they call it paint frosting i guess duh <laughs> all right look it's already look at that it's, it's so quick okay okay so i think i'm just gonna paint these like a classic white and bring the gold through on these if if you mix paint frosting in the regular di paint white paint it does not react as quickly just fyi Okay, I'm going to use this brush. Can I get to it? That's a good question. Can you? Can I? Can I reach I think it? these are going to need two coats. They're pretty shiny. So I'm going to give this a stipple, a little stipple stipple. It's not quite as chunky of a stipple as you would get with salt wash, but it's a good, good texture medium. 
Well, and you did just barely, barely add it to it. That is It'll true. It'll probably keep thickening up as you go. Probably. And the other thing, too, is um, I feel like if you're just doing a small amount, it's a little easier to mix up. So should I put, like, some stencil on here or, uh, like, I a was transfer? Gonna do, I told people I was going to do molds. Molds. Okay. So I would have molded it before you painted I'll do the it. other side. I'm going to get this side painted. Okay. I'll mold the other side. All right. And then I'll paint over that. Uh, Martina is looking forward to what uh, what you do with the big trophy. Is it cold in Utah? Um, it was 48 this morning. It's going to be 70 all week. Yeah, it was 48. It's getting cool at night. We have about a 30 degree shift all year long. It's about 30 degree yeah, shift between high desert. between night and day. In so. the winter time, though, it's less. It's probably about 20 in the winter. But in the summer, like we're 90s during the day, 60s at night. Right now we're 70s, so we're in the 40s. So I still have my my lightweight, what they call this, a flacket. It's a flannel jacket, but it's actually a sweatshirt. But. I'm in flip-flops and shorts and was rethinking that when I went to go feed the chicken and sheep because it was chilly. He was so cold at the football game. On oh, Friday night, yeah, Odelia has it. taken my blanket, and I didn't have a blanket, and it was really cold. So it was only it got down to fifty five at the game. It, wasn't it was just that like bad. I don't know why it was just really chilly. Uh, when you sit on those bleachers and the breeze starts going, it gets cold. And I had to snuggle, and it was just like you know, by the time we get to playoffs, I will have a jacket and pants on. All right, so I've got a good layer of texture, and the nice thing is when I wet this dress back to this. Because this has a built-in sealer, it won't really go past this texture color. Although the cream wasn't bad. But if you did have an ugly color underneath, it's nice to do the base layer in cottage color because of the built-in sealer. Kind of helps give you a barrier. So this situation is texturized. Let's go over here. And then these you wanted to decoupage, yes? Yeah. Okay. So if you're just going to paint those, I mean. I'm going to rinse my brush off a little. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that I want texture on those. You know it's fall because we have about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven butternut squashes. And this is a pumpkin nut. We, we had some cross-pollination happening with our squashes this year. They, yeah. were, they were opposite ends, but the garden wasn't so huge that the bees weren't all over anyway. The pumpkins and the butternut were on the same side. It made for some pretty pretty squash, though. Yeah, we have some really pretty pumpkins on our front porch, too. Pumpkin nuts. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to uh, puree them and make like a, like a bisque or a soup out of them. A squash soup. Yep. Does Debbie have those in her shop? I don't know. What are those? Oh, uh, cottage color. Yes. Yeah. If you are in San Diego, go buy some cottage color from Miss Debbie. Okay, let me go get some. I'm going to go grab some molds real quick. I'll let that dry up for a minute. It's going to take two coats. And before I put the paint on this side, I'm going to put a mold on. Let me go Mar see what Marlene we got. says she got her bird bath painted and it looks like cement now thanks to the paint and wax she got from us. And yes, Sandra, we are live. This is Paint-a-Palooza, otherwise known as we have a lot of stuff to do in paint. And so it's actually faster for us to just stay live, get it all painted, hang out with you guys. And then when we're done, we don't have to edit a video. We can go... Do what are we doing for the rest of the day? We're working on. We have a ton of printables. Well, I got to get printables out for channel members. I owe them one for last month because after your dad passed, I just did that didn't happen. Well, so I asked them if they wanted one for Christmas or one for fall, and it was mixed bag. So I just thought we'll do one Christmas for or one fall for last month, and then we'll do Christmas for this month. So if you guys are channel members, watch out for those printables. We are going to have a channel member live tomorrow, or if you're on Facebook and you're a JRB subscriber. Um, we will have that video. Uh, we'll be going live tomorrow. We'll do something with the printables. So that'd be fun. I feel like I want to do something fancy. These handles are pretty ornate. And they're cast iron on the handles here. What about a... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Should you use resin so we can... I am going to use resin. Yes, that is happening. Uh, when do I sleep? We slept about eight hours last night. I know. I sleep a lot. Although I didn't sleep very well last night. I don't know what was up. It's actually like, surprisingly enough, 
if you let enough oh. things slide, you can find a lot of time in your day. Like I, I don't dust. We don't. We, yeah. So I know why I didn't sleep good last night. Why? I just remembered. Did you not take your thyroid? I did not. I did got you take to, it today? Yes. I got to go in yesterday morning on the French toast and completely spaced it. Yeah, yesterday we had general conference. Um, we do that twice a year with our church, does it? And so they stream it for the whole worldwide church. So we call it pajama church. And um, <laughs> we listened to conference and did a little bit of canning. I made bread. So, yeah. What if I just do two of these laurel kind of reef oh, situations, olive, but yeah. not actually put anything in the middle? I think you need something in the middle. Something in the middle. You can put the rooster. Where's the rooster? The rooster? Uh, or the you could That's do the, the sheep in the middle of it, and that would be very French. Okay. Fluffy fat sheep. <clears throat> do one with the pig, and then I was gonna go with these. IOD has these new Christmas ones out, <clears throat> but I couldn't find. I don't want it to be so specific. Like I want it to be able to be left do, out year do round. Do one pig and one. One pig and one sheep, because we're selling sheep. those separate, right? We are selling them separate. Okay. Oh, Cody and Rex. There must be a dog walking by. Hey, guys. Shh. Happy birthday, Carolyn. She's going to be 52 for the 18th time. For the 18th time. I love it. Oh, Amper's got her duck box today. It is a good one. Leah said, I greatly dislike autocorrect. And Marianne can't wait to see what we do with her cookie jar. Whatever we do with the cookie jar, we're going to make sure it coordinates with the cute cross stitch that's in the middle. Oh, I didn't even show you this, Marianne. But did we show them this? Like, it has um, a plastic liner. We pulled it out, but the camera was going blurry when I brought it close. So, so the cookie jar not. that you bought, like, I love this because if you, you, you can wash this and it won't get, like, in the wooden box. So that's kind of cool. All right, so this is the amazing casting resin, not the clear cast. It's the casting resin. It hardens white, right, and it hardens in about five to ten minutes. Stickers here. All right, we were gonna sell these for like five bucks, and now we're selling them for twelve because we're gonna do something to them. So I changed the listing on the website. All right, I'm just base coating these with cottage color. I don't care if it's perfect because we're gonna decoupage them. And you always want to have, if you want a bright, crisp image, you want a white base. Because the decoupage paper is thin, and so it gets a lot brighter and crisper once you have a white base. I have to stop Cody from barking, because once he gets going, he doesn't, like, he's like, oh, no one's stopping me from he barking. He has not an off button. He doesn't, he doesn't stop. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that or if that's blocking it. Even sides A, B, I'm gonna, I've got a lot to pour, so I'm just filling them up max. Make sure I don't have any drippies. Typically, you'd wanna use gloves. Don't do what I do. I just grabbed it out of the cabinet because I was gonna do air dry clay and then shifted gears because we have a lot to do. Yeah, well, the nice thing about resin is that when we want to come back and do the detail work, we don't have to wait. Like air dry clay, you can't really overwork it till it's all the way dry. So you'd probably paint it, let it dry overnight. We don't have overnight. You're not going to be live for 24 hours. No, not that long. It's, it's going to be a longer live, but, you know, once we're done working, then we're going to go do other stuff. <laughs> well, I have to do a carpool at 2.30, so. Oh, are you running cheer carpool today? I am running cheer carpool today. Eliza used to ride the bus, but apparently they need them to get to oops practice sooner. Well, competition's so, coming, so they're practicing longer. Comp season is coming for Eliza, so I got to pick her up. Football season's almost over. Playoffs are, I think most teams are done. There's a couple teams that have games Saturday, and then we're into playoffs, so that's going to last a couple more weeks. And then cheer season and football will be over for the fall for the little kids. Odelia will continue cheering until like March. <laughs> she cheers for basketball. Yeah. Um, also wrestling and I don't know what else. If you want to buy these pots, Caitlin just dropped the link, uh, but they are going to be Christmas themed. So just know that. All 
All right, so just so you know, two of the uh, measuring cups that they send with you will fill up both of these laurel wreaths on the, what is this, the olive, the olive crest mold? Yes. And I'm probably going to get a little bit of the sheep out of it. I do double pours. So if I don't have something that'll fill the whole thing up, I'll just do a double pour, pour again, and usually no issues on that. And sometimes if we have a little leftover, we'll just pour something random. So we have like a, a baggie full of random stuff. Came in handy, was it last week? Mm -hmm. I painted all that those boxes and I didn't have to pour anything because I had a bunch of resin made up. So I am going to make sure that I do the whole, can you guys see that? I'm dragging it to all the spots so that I don't have any lines from the separate pours. And then I'll fill in the rest with the, the next pour. That way I get... I'll get, be able to get two laurels and a sheep and probably some, some of these flowers here or something. I got to go get another cup to mix in though. So I will be right back. Sorry, I'm just going to be over here painting pots white. Okay. Make sure it's not pooling. Is painting Monday a new thing? It is a thing this week. Not every Monday. A lot of times I like to do edited videos. But Zeb's actually going to go back in um, on YouTube and find a bunch of videos and shrink them down to three-minute videos and put them on Facebook. So he's going to be working on that today, too. Because Facebook tends to like the shorter, straight-to-the-point DIYs. I'm just going to work on that. Thanks, Carolyn. She said she has to run now. Um, we are going to have a – we'll probably have a full, regular, old-school Jamie Ray – in zebra diy video out for friday i don't know what we're gonna do yet but we got to paint furniture or something because we need to get the garage here cleaned out we need to get the barn cleaned out because winter is a coming and this winter zeb has decided we're going to move the kids bedrooms all around so in order to do that we have to first clean the garage <coughs> then clean the barn <coughs> then clean out the basement so we can move the playroom down to the basement. Then we can move children around. It's like a so what I'm thinking is process. we'll just do like a like where the stairs end. I'll just make that one room the back food behind. Storage room. Well, I might put the food storage out front, and then that way, if we make that a bedroom, you're not having to go through the bedroom to get to the food storage. Oh, that would make sense. Too much cleaning for Carl. All right, Carl says too much. All right, what am I going to do next while this all dries? Um, here, we we'll have this artichoke that. that needs, I don't know if you were going to paint it. The bottom oh, is let not me just paint. Let me paint this. Yeah, we do have that stuff back there too. I'll paint this. I'm running out of space, but that's all right. So, oh, we have a new channel member, Catherine. All right, Catherine, I don't know if you know this, but on channel membership, all of our correspondence on YouTube, if you're a channel member on YouTube, which you are, is done through the community tab. So like tomorrow before we do our channel member live, we will put a link up on community for channel only channel members see it. And then that's also where we put our um, links for the printables. Carl says we're empty nesters. Once things are set, they're set. I don't know that that would will change even when we're empty nesters because Deb and I are always so I was thinking plans. I need to talk to Jessica, the, the mom, what, the mom boss. Why, why are you, why are you thinking? I just need to find out if it would be worth our time to put a, like a half bath with a shower and a toilet down in the basement with a sump pump on it because it would have to pump out because it's below grade or just put a room down there. Like, would we get our value out of it in well, a basement? Every time you add a bathroom. Cause we already value. have. I guess you'd say three, three and a, and a quarter, half. We have three four and a, toilets in this house. Three and a half bathrooms in the house. But like if you're down there in the basement, you got to go up the stairs. You either got to go into mom and dad's bathroom in there or come over here to the kitchen if, if you're staying down in the basement. Well, you know, I feel like it wouldn't hurt because with the current uh, price of real estate, you never I imagine know we'll which... probably have a lot of family or kids living with us. You never know enough. when someone's going to live with you. So. Our house, if we finish the basement, this house is 3,900 square feet, which sounds like we'd have big, giant, gargantuan spaces, but mostly there's just a lot of people live here, so we have lots of little spaces. 
Um, and the basement already has heating, cooling, it's wired for electrical. So just finishing that out would definitely add to the value of the house. And then, then we have a place also, even if nobody lives with us, it will give us more space for when guests come. Yeah, we'd actually have a place to put people when they come visit. Because right now all the rooms are full. Yep, we have every every room is full. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry out. This you can see right there while I was gone on my little errand is already almost ready to demold. And we're going to glue these to the front of these. I got to make two sets. And we're going to do, you wanted to do the sheep and the pig? I'll do the pig right now while we're waiting for stuff to cure up. Carl says, well, with me and the pole barn full of vintage motorcycles, I just add on 20 feet in front in 2018. 16 Carl. feet going under roof end of October. Carl, I would love to see some pictures of your vintage motorcycles. I'm particularly fond of Indians. I just think they've got a really great style to them. But that is something. I don't even ride motorcycles, and I love them. I would love to see your collection. We do. We have mini bikes. Yeah, <laughs> those don't count. They're not even street legal. <laughs> They're made for trails. <laughs> they feel like a motor. They they have a motor and they are a cycle. <laughs> Carl says he's a Rocon man. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I know Indian because I used to watch American Pickers. And I know like uh, Harley, Honda. How long has Honda been making motorcycles? A long time. That's how they started. It was as a... I think a motorcycle or bike company, Honda. Yeah, they started as a motorcycle. Sounds like Harrington might come back for a while. That is a no. Harrington lives in the cottage. We actually, like, apparently we just house everybody so here's in our the family. Thing. Here's the, the situation. Odelia graduates in like six months, seven months from now. And then she's going to go off to college. If she, she goes to, to a home. school local, I'm going to put her in the basement. And she, she can have her own little space down there with a bathroom where she can be more of an adult and not just down the hall where dad's going to check on you to make sure you're in bed and not. I thought we we're going to make the basement into a playroom. Uh, do they need that? Well, then they play their dumb video games on the main room and that's annoying. So maybe we need to put some sort of timer on it and a camera. <laughs> timer and a camera. A camera so I can talk to them <coughs> while they're down in the basement. I mean, and Odelia, when Odelia and Cooper play video games, they they hoop and holler and they're loud. Very loud. So I think maybe the basement would be a good spot. They get very excited and very competitive with their <laughs> Smash Brothers. That is a true story. All right. So made some molds. I'm going to start painting this while I wait for those to cure up good. Cooper likes to do whatever Odelia wants, but when it comes to video games, he ain't giving in, man. No, he's competitive. He doesn't. He doesn't back down. Then the grandbabies will come. Well, hopefully, with any luck. Harrington has a grand cat. But yeah, Harrington lives in the cottage behind the church. I don't think he's moving out anytime soon. Yeah. Although I, I He has applied to college in a couple places, but he says if they're the ones that are farther away, he's just going to do them online because they're just easy generals so he can stay working at his same job. Yeah. Because he wants to do a year of generals and then he's going to like continue nursing because be nurse. he loves working in the, uh, the care facilities. All right, I'm just sitting here talking. I want, I'm talking, I'm painting. I want him to to grow up and have a place of his own because I I want to turn the uh, cottage into an Airbnb. Yeah. It would certainly give me more money to do other things with because we don't charge him much more than utilities. All right, so you have, is this brush white already? Did you do some dry brushing? Um, that is white. I did these pots or something i just needed another white brush and didn't want to dirty yeah that one. one's fine i i did it initially with salt or not salt wash with uh paint frosting oh it's okay but i wa i rinsed it out sorry that's crackly at this tin as i'm pressing on it i thought you were gonna are you doing that while the yeah i'm just waiting can for I, these can to you dry share up. the paint though yes maybe maybe i'm the oldest of six this. i'm not great at sharing you're better at sharing than i am I was raised by myself. That's why if you ever hear me say my, my, mine. I'm a, I I'm a get it quick and use it up fast before someone takes your stuff kind of guy. That is true. <laughs> uh, don't get Zeb started. I made that mistake and $60,000 conservative Canadian and a Harley later. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so 
I don't think I. He just bought a new one ton uh, GMC. Hey. And and he had just he had just bought a Ford uh, half ton Tremor, but it was beautiful and really cool. But didn't I should just well. start going down to the dealership and be like, I'm going to test drive this with my trailer on. Yeah, he didn't like the way it towed. So six months after terribly. he bought a brand new Ford Tremor that's very hard to find, the one that he got, we just traded in and he got a new one ton truck. And he says now he needs more construction projects because he has I told her, a I'm like, large chunk of change. This is what I told ton. her. I'm like, I got a dump trailer, a tractor, and a truck to do all the work. So now I need to go get my contractor's now license. I need to get his contractor's license. It is pretty nice. The only thing about a one ton is that it is like you ride like this. And that's why I haven't avoided getting one, but it was just, I had to. Apparently it was time. It's a diesel too. So he's very excited. I just am like, you know what? It's getting like 22 miles to the gallon. They say happy wife, happy life. But honestly, a happy husband is also necessary. And I'm like, we're done though. You got a new dump truck. You got a brand new tractor. You got a new one ton truck. Well, here's the thing. You're, I was gonna go. With, I was going with an older used truck yeah. that had higher mileage on it. You know, diesels they last quite a long time, and I wasn't scared to buy one with like 120 thousand miles on it. That's the one I was looking at. And we get down to the dealership. She's like, "That's the one you brought me to look at." No. And then we looked at. The I didn't trucks. say it like that. I just said <laughs> I'm not spending sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, the one with 120,000 miles on it was 60 grand. A truck that has 120,000 miles on it. I don't care if it is a diesel. Like, I, that just hurts me inside. Who else is feeling the inflation crunch? Like, yeah. these trucks and cars are just getting crazy. Five years ago, it was it was brand new at, like, like the truck I got is new to me. It's not new. <laughs> yeah, but it's newer than that one. So Yeah, it was newer than 120,000. Carl says I sound like his wife. I, I'm fine. I just said, you know, we're we're done buying tools and trailer tractors and stuff. The Which next thing I, I have wanted, all the things now. So yeah, I got now I gotta recoup my bank account and then maybe get a new boat next year. We'll see. I also want a cow. I have weird goals in life. Some days I want to be a homesteader. Other days I want to like be the DIY guru. We did the math the other day. <clears throat> if we sold everything. We could go quietly into the night and pay cash for something somewhere, like not in Utah, uh, but like Midwest or in the South. Prices have not inflated quite like what they have out West here. But we're not going anywhere, so don't worry. Yeah, we're, we're going to still be painting. Jack's only eight. It's at least 10 years off. And even then, we're not going anywhere. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. We just got to figure out how we can buy... Or land here in Lehigh. Oh, I got white paint on my new shirt. Oh, no. I know. I like this shirt. Okay. I got to wipe it off because I don't want white paint on my new I Love Junk shirt. All right. I think I'm almost ready to demold. Got these pretty much prepped to glue those on. This is not working how I might have hoped. What are you doing oh, well. over there? Oh, it's did you fine. smear it? No, no, no. It'll be okay. You know, you know the people who make that shirt for you. True. Okay. So, Jamie, is that paint also a sealer? Um, it is a sealer. This one is. Yes. You could get bleed through, but I do find that using the cottage color, I get less because it does have a built-in sealer. So everything inside of that slides okay. out. So before you start painting, I am. That, I'm just trying to out. decide okay. what I want to paint it. Do we have like a, we need to get that color and cottage color. We're actually hopefully working on five or six new dark colors for cottage color. I, I mean, you can match the pig and paint it pink, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to go green and then paint the knob white. That's going to be tricky, but I think I can do it. Okay. Now I got to gut this. Yeah, that would be yeah. good. I don't, I don't mind driving a car with more miles. I just, it's offensive to me to pay $60,000 for a car with 120,000 miles on it. It was I the price that. tag that got her. She's like, she's like, the payment's only going to be like $150 more if we get you the truck with a lot less miles. Yeah, well, yeah. That's the way Jamie does math. If, like, it, were, if, if it were not a tax write-off, I literally, like Zeb can attest, Zeb's the car man. He loves cars. 
I would drive the same car forever, forever, never, never. But it's either pay the government or get a new car. And I'm like, fine. Fine. All right. I need. Uh, Monet's garden's too dark. I need a different color. Yeah, I would say my truck is probably 90% work. Yeah. Whatever truck I have is 90% work. <laughs> we're, I, well, because we're always working. Skeleton key. What do you think? Like about even when I drop kids off to football, I drop them off the football. Then I go to on Home Depot to Home and Depot. pick up a bunch of stuff or I go or, or Jamie found something on Marketplace and I go pick that up or, you know, it's never just. Dad, do you, a, what do you think about skeleton key? It's never just a drop the kids off at football situation. Skeleton key is my like one of my favorite I think this colors. is dusty enough that it'll pair well. With... Well, and skeleton key pulls whatever it's almost like a neutral gray but blue at the same time, and it pulls whatever color I'm is just prominent. thinking this color right here. Okay, will yeah, pair well with no, skeleton I think, key. I think it would, yeah, it's a little bit lighter than what's on the cross stitch. All right, these are ready to come out. We've already been live half an hour, guys. Is that the same paintbrush you used last week? Um, probably. We, we have like four or five paintbrushes we keep at the house. Yeah. So this is the Klingon FA40. It's a nice thin angle, so you get smooth strokes. Um, it's got a longer handle. How's the this quality? This is the S50. No, sorry. Go ahead. And keep oh, I was going to say, this brushes. is the S50. It's got a shorter handle, and I actually love this for dry brushing. I mean, you can use it for painting, but I, I love, love, love this for dry brushing. All right, what were we going to say? I was just going to say, how's the quality on the stream today? We're back here at the house. Um. I think Jamie and I discussed it. I think we're just going to keep going live from the house here until we get the room upstairs over at the shop set up to live stream from it um, and lighting all how we want it because it's, it's a little tough with all the stuff in the background there. And then the internet works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's because the security system there is like monitoring 24 hours a day. So it builds up like a big cache in your internet. And I didn't dump that cash by power cycling it. So I think that's what happened Saturday night. But we don't have that issue here. <laughs> this is a cookie jar, um, Carl was asking, or Carl's wife. I don't know who, who it no, was. I think it's Carl. If Carl's commenting, I'm pretty sure it's usually no, Carl. No, I think it said Carl's wife. They might oh, both maybe. be watching. I don't know. I imagine they're much like us. They're, they're retired, so they probably spend a lot of their time together. It's a cookie jar. It has a cross stitch in I'm the front retired. and a plastic liner. Okay, so I was going to glue those on, but I'm going to get this other one going real fast. The other church, they never emailed me back. It, it wasn't really for sale. I understand that the guy that owns the other church that we found is an artist. And so he paints in there and stores his painting, but the roof is really bad. And so if he doesn't fix that roof, his paintings are all going to be ruined. So hopefully he does. But you just never know. Sometimes you send out feelers and then you don't hear anything for years. And then somebody comes back and says, hey, now I'm ready to do this. And honestly, we have a lot going on. I'm not ready to take on a it big would be construction a, project. It would be an investment property oh, construction. Oh, she is. Sorry. Oh, gotcha. Because my voice is coming in and out. Um, it might be because you're flopping around. Maybe try putting it higher up on your collar. Maybe. Instead of down on the side. Yeah, that probably works. Like that. Is there a smaller brush? I went back and looked at the one used to paint the rooster picture frame. There's the pointy one. Did I use the a little artist brush? You might you might have used a little artist brush, which we get from um, turquoise iris. The turquoise iris. iris. I don't remember which one. I don't one think it you is. used a. I don't know. I'm not sure, Lisa. If you maybe email info at jamierayvintage.com, and then Caitlin will ask me, and I can go back and look at the video and tell you because I don't remember. Your voice is fine, is what Janice from Ky, Ky Love, Janice, did mm -hmm. I get the name right? You got it. Look at that. I remembered. She said it's fine. So. All right. Do cottage dry, cottage colors dry matte or satin? So cottage colors dry satin. And right now I'm using DIY paint and it will need a sealer. It will dry very matte and I will put a sealer on it and then it'll be whatever the sealer is. Okay, let's push that out of the way. Go get my glue real fast. Marianne is at work, so she's got to go. 
Sounds good, Marianne. I'm at work too, in my kitchen. If it takes too long, I'll have to stop and put dinner in the Instant Pot. Because we're having, I made pies yesterday, but I had a bunch of leftover pie crust, and so we're gonna do chicken pot pie for dinner. These are almost all the way dry, Zeb. That one is still a yeah, little, the couch, <gasps> that one's very wet. That one's still wet. Good thing the couch color does drive pretty fast. No, just do that. All right, so this is, so we've gone to using the uh, nozzle as a cap, because it just gets plugged up every time. Um, the good, this is Gorilla Glue Max Strength Clear Construction Adhesive. It also comes in a white and a black. Um, but this, it dries out pretty quick. It works great for molds. This holds super strong even when it's still wet and tacky. I'm gonna paint this two coats of skeleton key and then I'm gonna come back with an artist brush and paint the knob white because I think that'll be cute. So I'm just trying to, as best I can, it's a little more square, just following the curve of that there on the bottom. Oh, that's cute. I think it'll be good. I mean, not that I'm surprised at what you're doing is cute, but it's cute. Well, what if you get those all glued on, I'll paint them white. Will She's you... been telling me a lot lately that it's a good thing I'm cute. So apparently I've been doing things that would normally get me in trouble, but I've retained enough cuteness to stay out of trouble. You've been a little bit sarcastic what? with me lately. And so I just, you know, so I just tell you, it's a good thing you're cute. Basically, when I say it's a good thing you're cute, it means be nice. Knock it off. Well, in a nice way. <laughs> and trying to be polite. I'm trying to be like Jesus over here. So don't test me. That's what it means. It's been a little a bit of a struggle. Struggle bus. Well, I don't know, for whatever reason, since my dad passed, like I'm in an eternal grumpy mood. Not horrible, but like not my normal bubbly self. So I've been trying really hard to be nice. Okay, gonna let that dry. I'm gonna, decide. I'm gonna spin this around so I can make sure everything's mostly levelish. So the laurel, the the wreath part, they are not the same or symmetrical. So don't try to don't like get an eye twitch trying to match them up. They left them kind of organic because nature is not always symmetrical. Some plants grow pretty pretty good some symmetry, but. For the most Nature part. is like never symmetrical. I need to paint this too. I might paint this box for Leslie's skeleton key because I think that'd be Do we cute have any paper towels or numbers. anything handy? I need to wipe some excess. Yeah, I glue. have some. I moved some washcloths downstairs from the laundry room. We get them all washed and then there's like piles and piles of laundry room and we get downstairs. Oh, that's cute. That's like perfect for that. Oh, it's kind of shiny. There we go. Do you want me to paint it? Yeah, in just a sec. Let me get this excess off. Leslie, I'm going to paint the box skeleton key, and then I'm going to do the numbers probably in white. Do you have any of that paint frosting mixed well, up? I might paint the outside skeleton key, paint the boxes of white on the front, and then do the numbers in skeleton key. I think that would be cute. This front could actually probably benefit from some thicker paint if you want to mix up more, because this glue is not... What are you doing? It's smearing, and I'm trying not to break I, the legs I, off. I will fix it. Give it to okay, me. Okay, I'll glue the other one on. Give me the little, I, got a I need like a too. stick or something. I have one in here. Nope, that one's sticky. You don't want that one. I want to clean up your situation here. Well, it, I made sure it had lots of glue. We'll say that. It's been well <laughs> stuck. Okay, so we're waiting on these to dry before I stick them on this one. I almost got carried away and painted down on this. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was just going to do some thicker paint on that. Okay. Well, I I think I have some. I have my bowl of, it looks like cottage cheese now. It got real thick. Do you need to add more paint no, to it? No, it's fine. This is my paint frosting mixed with the cottage colors. Right. While we're waiting, so this isn't, this one's going to get a pig. Is that still drying? These are. Do you are. want to paint Leslie's box for me? Yes. Okay, I need you to paint, take out these cubbies because I'm going to paint the fronts white, but the base needs to go skeleton key and then we'll stencil the numbers in white. Okay, I'm just going to put some supplies over here so we don't run out of room. I'm <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's, this is loud, huh? So you're painting the base a different color and then the boxes are going skeleton key, you said? Yeah, I'm doing a little textured paint because Zeb got a little friendly with the glue. And if I do a smooth paint job, you'll be able to see it. So rather than fight that, I'm just gonna work with it. 
we only have the big nozzle. The small nozzle is all plugged up, so it just goops out. We should, we do very well for being together 24-7. We actually get along better now than we did before. I'm not that we were ever like not nice to each other. We just we like each other more because we're together because I feel like we do a lot of things that the other one is interested in. Does that make sense? We had someone pull up in the driveway the other day. They're going to be new neighbors. They're asking us some questions about the neighborhood and about redoing our house and things like that and i had literally just told him something and then jamie came out and introduced herself and she told him the exact same thing i had just told him and that happens to us all the time it goes both ways like jamie will tell a story and then i'll tell the story we don't really have a lot of different stories because we're always together doing the same things <laughs> it is a true story well we've been together more than we haven't it'll be we've been a couple 23 years in November and in October is when we started dating. So we've been dating or a couple or married for 23 years. It's been a hot minute. All right. Just to confirm, skeleton key or white? Skeleton key. These are just going to get white, but I would just paint the front. Yeah. So just I'm not going to paint the inside of the boxes either. I'm going to be real careful. Yeah. Along just be the top very ni nice and neat. So let me just move these out of the way. Skeleton key though. Where's your skeleton key? Do you it's have over there back by the cookie jar. Okay. You have a skeleton key brush. Mm -hmm. We can also paint my duck skeleton key if you want. Okay. Where's my paint frosting? After using that cottage color, this DIY paint is thick. If you're wanting to purchase anything, I don't even think I even did our commercial yet. Uh, JamieRayVintage.com for the paint and products that we use on our channel. I think you've told them a couple times yeah. where they can buy the stuff. If you ever have questions, though, about like which we used or whatever, you can message us on Facebook or email info at jamierayvintage.com and we can help you out if you can't find the products that you saw us use or you're not sure. We try when the video isn't live to drop links in the description for a later, for a later date. All right, I'm just going to texturize everything now that... There's I've that. texturized the front. Texturize. Texturize. Is that even a word? We're making up stuff, you know. So we're going to have to do a color over the top of this. For simplicity's sake, we really could just do skeleton key and then come back to the cottage color white swan. Unless you want to get crazy and do something else. I need like some paint in the side because you have a little wee bit of a gap here. There we go. I don't know if it's because you didn't glue it on right or because this thing is not straight. Could be either. Um, it's not straight. Okay, the metal. Yeah, the tin is, we'll say that the tin is organic as well. Okay, so I'm just backfilling this edge with paint frosting. I mean, I could probably like pull and no, press on fine. them and hammer it out. But by the time we get another layer of paint on there, it'll be fine. I'm gonna get my hair in this thing. I'm getting my hair cut for the first time in like seven. Let's see, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, seven months. Um, but I'm just gonna get a trim. But it is so broken on the ends. I, it's why I don't color my hair because I don't even take time to get it cut much less coloring it every four to six weeks i just i just got a haircut like <laughs> a day ago yesterday Dad cuts his hair like every time he showers so all right i think i don't really good. worry about split ends you don't worry about split ends or conditioner it blew jamie's mind she's like what do you mean you're not using conditioner because like she found out that i wasn't using conditioner like and that a lot of times I just use my regular body soap. This is on when my you head. actually had hair, though. I did not. I, I've always kept it since we've been married. It's been like shorter than half an inch. Yeah, but you had hair. <laughs> um, but I wasn't using any conditioner or anything. And she's like, What do you mean you're not using conditioner? She was like almost offended by it. <laughs> because you throw off the ratio. I always wind up with leftover conditioner and no shampoo. <laughs> and I like to have I'm like, matching I use bottles. bar soap on my head. What are you talking about? Like, I don't have anything <laughs> to condition. It's just skin up there. All right. I'm going to put this here. Grambo didn't know we were live. Grambo, do you get our texts? Maybe you're not. Sign up for the text message because I think Caitlin sent one out. Can I get a JRV logo on the back? Um, I think we have a stamp. 
I can stamp. We have, a, we have the stencils there at the shop. Do you know where it's at for sure? Mm -hmm. And you're going to do it and not forget? Because I, I can't make promises I Is won't this keep. Is this Les's? Yeah. No, it's Leslie's. Leslie. Yeah. Leslie's. Leslie. Yes, Leslie. I can put a JRV stencil on here. I'll find one. All right. You heard it. He's going to do it. When you're, You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to do that artichoke in the same color. Oh, you know what else? We need to do this. Do you want me to texturize this? If you want, I think it could benefit. Were you going to put something on the front here? I was going to put a mold there. Yes. All right. I'll wait till you mold it. Oops. I'm going to move this over. I need those. I need that rag. Got a little out of control. Oh, yeah. You weren't staying neat. All right. Just I'm going to move here. this over because I got a skeleton key. This, as soon as you're done with that, let's start decoupaging. Do you want me to get you some decoupage medium? Do you have any? I do not. Okay. Let me see if we Unless got any it's in patina. this basket. This is no longer a skipping basket. It's a paint basket. Yeah. Uh, I would probably just take it off the website. <laughs> is it on the website? I don't know. I also don't know if we have liquid patina. So you might be decoupaging with top coat or big topper. Something. As you can see back here, the birds have been loving the cooler weather. We've got, I don't know, can you see that? Um, oh, yeah, it's right here on my this shoulder here. There's a huge basket of eggs, and we eat a ton of eggs. I probably to the tune of at least a dozen a day. And we still have that many eggs. The, the chickens are like, hey, weather's cool. We've got lots to eat. Let's lay tons of eggs. We do not have a lot of top coat at all of any kind. No kinds of top coats? I didn't say none. I said we don't have a lot. Well, I don't need a lot to do those little those little uh, pots. Well, that's good because we ain't got a lot. This might take a second coat. This box is a little We have tiny. some top coat here. We have some big top. I'm going to go check the garage real quick. Okay. There might be some out there. We had some, we've been ferrying supplies back and forth between the house and the shop. So they could definitely be both places. So I'm just, this brush is definitely way bigger than the, uh, the lip of this. So I'm just coming from the outside. That way the brush catches where I've already painted. It's a little tricky in the middle here, but. All right. No such luck. Note to self, we need more top coat and more liquid patina here okay do we have enough to do what i need oh i just swiped paint on that um, can you place a mold on the painted item you can yeah you can do it we just like here. to do it first and then the paint also helps glue it down but if you've already got a painted item mold away and then paint over the top of it or whatever you're going to do you already have glue out right yeah i'll i'm going to search off camera for the mold for that trophy okay there's a bunch over there and i think there's two over here i have the frames over here okay i'm gonna set this oh where to set this because it's wet i'm gonna have to repaint one of the sides oh you just set it on the counter too well i can wipe it off it'll come off that's also on the list we've had we've narrowed it down to two suspects one of the boys is cutting the countertops, the butcher block countertops all along the edge. And they won't fess up to it. And neither one of them have been caught yet. So. Okay. So I need you to do the crown and the little greenery. Okay. But they're not, the countertops are no longer looking amazing. They're holding up great other than the cuts. So we're now uh, maybe on the hunt for some new countertops. <laughs> all right. So you're going to glue that and then you're yep. going to do these. So I can use the skeleton key. A lot of uh, getting a bunch of stuff done is just like multitasking. Just keep painting and eventually it all gets painted. Yeah. So um, if you're hanging out with us till the end, you'll get to see all this come together. We'll finish them before we're done. I got the heat gun over here. I'm ready. Where's your skeleton key brush? Can I have that? Um, it's right here. Luckily, we have more skeleton key. So yeah, we're going to need a second coat. We're getting low on that one. Well, I'm also going to need a second coat on that. So just Yeah, remember. I have another quart. Okay, I'm going to try to put a little less glue. Oh on this one so that we have less pooching. It's looking. Just this question. I'm just gonna smear it. You, the wife wants to know what this is. It's an artichoke. 
we're it's guessing decorative. artichoke or something. It's, it's an artichoke. It's very common in like French country design to just use it as a decor piece. Sometimes you see big finials. ones on top of um, a finial, like on a fence post or whatever. This was just made for decor and somebody actually painted it white. But I think the white is too shiny and one dimensional. So I want to get a few different paint layers on here. All right, much less glue used on this one. I'm just barely. Oh, also shout out to where is the business card I put over here? I don't know. Oh, here it is to Courthouse Market. If you guys follow me on Facebook, I was missing the weight, which we call a jiggler, to my pressure canner. You can't can without it. Stop and her. she had a pressure canner that she let her boys do something with. I don't know what. They like did something outside with it and she had the jiggler and so i was able to and she gave it to me for free i just paid for shipping um and it's benita and rick davis from courthouse market um and i think they sell on ebay we could not find that so, anywhere online yeah they are on national back order and a few people that reached out that said they could get them to me but i, I connected with her first and i'm super excited because we have green beans to can and you have to pressure those you, sh you shouldn't water bath them that or meat you got to, well, any, gonna any, anything soups. low acidity, you've got to pressure it. We're so. going to be doing some soups that I'll probably put like some milk and butter and stuff in. So those will need pressured. Just sand the cuts. Yeah, we can sand the cuts out of our countertops. We will probably wind up saving the countertops and using them for another project. I initially just put them on. They weren't my dream countertops because we didn't have a ton of money when we had to finish this. We had like $3,000 to put in a kitchen and not fifty. dollars um, and we the still cabinets don't have are also 50. like just the ones that come in the yeah, box the cheap, from Home Depot. The cheapest Depot. Home Depot cabinets they carry. I just added some molding to them. So we're going to update maybe next year. We'll reuse the cabinets somewhere else. We'll reuse the countertop somewhere else. I'm getting a new stove and oven because even though this one is very cute um, and it supposedly does a lot of things, it does not bake evenly and the top is not big enough for the sheer volume of food that I cook <laughs> for the troops. Well, when Otherwise we do Taco Sunday, family. we run out of burners and yeah. stuff like microwave and stuff. So I want to get one of those. I want to invest in a bigger stove that I'll have for longer. I just need to do some research and see which kind I want. I know tacos are traditionally on Tuesday or Tuesdays, but we do them on Sundays. We do Taco Sunday. We, like everybody comes over after church, and we have usually fifteen to twenty people here, depending. Yep. <laughs> Yesterday we had Zeb's brother and his children. My mom, well, she lives here. My kids. And then Odelia's boyfriend came over and Odelia's friend Raina came over here and Harrington was here. So we had a lot of people eating. Just never know how many people are going to be here for Taco Sunday. All right. Did you want to do your thick, you get the thick paint still? Um, yes, that one. Let right me show there. them first before I get it painted. <laughs> it's been a tradition for over 20 years. That is true. Bring a oven from France. That might be a little spendy. They do have French ovens here they've in the got, States. They've got some nice ones, but they've already got them over here. A lot of them that we were looking at. So I am looking into that though. Cause I, so it, I can I fit a 48 inch stove top and it'll only hang over the edge about an inch and a half on each side. I built this range, this, uh, I forget what it's even called. Range Vent. hood. Yeah. I built that pretty wide. Um, so I don't think it'll look weird. And then we have like this weird cabinet over on the side that just kind of houses the trash can. So that can go away if we need to fit something bigger there. All right. Can I have, oh, are you, that's not, did you use this and that? This no. goes on this. This oh. is for, there we go. Boy, that's right. like cottage cheese. Oh, that's, it's like so thick. It's not That's even, what I literally said like so, five minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so that is maybe too thick now. No, you can you can make it work. I have faith in you. Okay. Well, it's getting like gelatinous. It's fine. All right, I'm just painting the front. Let of it these. sit too long without using it. Yeah the the cottage color mixes up really fast. So if you're using DIY paint, it doesn't mix up as fast. The cottage color with the color paint sets. frosting. With the paint frosting, sorry. Paint so if you're frosting. just joining, we added paint frosting to this a little bit ago. And whatever's in the paint really thickens up fast with paint frosting. It's because it has a built-in sealer. I think that's yeah. what it is. 
William Sonoma has them. The French stoves. Yeah, it won't be cheap. Like it'll be an investment. I'm not going to even feel guilty about it because it's a necessity. Plus, we cook three again, meals a day. Again, a dump trailer, one ton tractor. All necessities, right? Fancy French contractor stove. license coming. Fancy French so stove so I can make my contractor dinner. Also a necessity, right? I mean, how fun would that be, though, if we shifted gears and just started, like, doing whole houses and airbnb being them and, like, putting all the decor in from As long stores. as there's time to paint and junk. That's I'm what I'm saying. Like, we, we use, we fill them up with the junk. Oh, them. I see what you're saying. That would be fun. We need to get somebody would to you guys, that. Would you guys watch that? We need to get we need We're to get not somebody. there yet. We don't have an investor. <laughs> we got to get an investor. Then we got to get somebody to pick us up and bankroll us for, like, a TV show. Because if we do all that, we ain't got time to film as much. We'll, we'll be doing lots of reels. I'm really good at the short form content, which reminds me I need to. As soon as I'm done with these, I'm going to film a little bit for my reel for this. I think if we got after it, we could probably do a couple houses a year. Can we talk about Just cake us. frosting? So paint frosting is a, made by DIY. It's all natural and it's made to thicken paint as a texture medium. Um, and you can use it to do raised stencils, which we have done quite a bit. You can do use it like we'll be probably doing paint frosting on the next craft kit because we're doing the Christmas churches and you can make it look like snow on top of a house. You can also use it to build texture the way we're doing on these pieces to make something look old and decrepit. I know it sounds counterproductive to paint something to look old, but that's what we do around here. Sorry, you guys got to hear the sink run. Um, I got to rinse this brush out. It's starting to set up on the brush. So just be aware if you're mixing it with the cottage colors, it's going to get thick quick. I have severe ADHD. You probably guys probably already know that. So the likelihood of Zeb and I doing house after house after house is probably slim to none, but you, there could be a couple. And then I get like, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> That's why I like that we do YouTube because we literally can just do whatever we want to do and yeah. film it. And then whatever new exciting thing I'm doing then becomes content. All right, I'm going to set this to the side so that it can dry. I think that would needs way more texture. Um, well, we're going to have to mix it up because it literally got solid. Yeah, I can. Just put it over here and I'll do it. Yeah. And you can decoupage. All right. I'm ready I for got the decoupage. You. Do we need to put more coats on this or no? No, it's fine. Am I decoupaging the, I think I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Yeah, decoupage the whole shebang with like the main part being, well, we can also always come back and paint around the edge too. I know you, you said you were doing those Christmas, right? Yeah. So we have a couple cut out of here already, so I don't have the whole paper to show you. We're doing these again. These are back in stock. If you want to get an early jump on your Christmas stuff. We got these and the stag paper is here already. This one's still pretty wet. And then I'm going to show them. These aren't available for pre-order yet, but they oh, will be soon. Oh, you guys want to get a sneak peek? The retailers are already ordering them. If so you if you have got a, a JRB stencil or decoupage yes. retailer, tell them that you'd like the Christmas papers and that you want the new Christmas paper because we, we have it out for pre-order for retailers right now and it will be to the public soon. So this is not on the paper it comes on. This is just our sample print from our local print shop. The actual ones will be here soon. Um, so it's an advent, but it has similar kind of postcard type greeting card things on there. So if you don't want to use it as an advent or don't need it numbered or do something different, you can still use these. A lot of these will fit in the IOD frames molds. Um, and these ones down here are big enough to be used you could just frame these out and have little Christmas scenes. These make great uh, tags if you want to use them for something like that um, or just decoupage them on small things. So this is the new, some of them are religious and some of them aren't. Our last one was just mostly fun Santa Claus stuff. And this one has um, more centered around Christ and the nativity in a couple of the images. Oh, the Santa postcards is drafted on our website. Caitlin, can you undraft the stag and the Santa postcards? Oh, yeah. Because we just got a thousand new sheets for wholesale and retail. So we have plenty available. Thanks, Caitlin, for letting us know that. Oh, no. I was like, why aren't these selling? Because <laughs> we've had them and we've been talking about them. That makes sense. 
Um, but anyway, that's the new one. I'm not using that because that's not decoupage paper. That's like post poster paper. So I just wanted to show you guys that that's coming. And our, if you order two papers, it's free shipping. So if you need to order something else right now, don't feel like you got to wait for the new paper to come out to order because we will ship that to you for free as long as you order two sheets. Again, if you have a retailer that you like to buy it from, please support them and buy it from your retailer. But just let them know, hey, there's a new, we're trying to get the word out to our retailers as well, that there's a new decoupage paper out. And we hopefully we should have it by next week. Yeah. That's been shipping pretty That's fast. That's why I showed you because we'll yeah, have Yeah, we're it. hoping to get it out for you to purchase on our website, the new paper, by next week. And we'll ship it out to the retailers as well. We'd like to start using it before we go to France and England. I might have to actually cut some of these guys the way this is going to work. Good Let's see. They asked if your mom was coming with us. I don't, Deb, this is really, really bright. My mom? No, is... we need to fix the camera. Oh, it's because it turned off. How long has it been like that? Oh, just a minute. The new paper is not on the website, but the Santa uh, postcards was it and the like that when I was showing from last year are in. Jamie, was it like that when I was showing? Because they wouldn't be. Able yeah, to see. you probably should reshow the new paper. Sorry. But anyways, they asked if your mom was coming with us. She's actually going to visit another brother that's been planned for a long time. And well, I love family and everything. When we travel, it's not really a family affair because Zeb and I make no plans and we shop from morning until night. All right. So here's, here's the paper again. If you missed it, if that was bright, I don't know what the camera was doing. There you go. There's the new paper. I don't know how well you guys can see. Caitlin that, dropped the link for the Christmas stag. So these will be out in like a week yeah, you'll be able to so, order these we'll show you again when they come just out. in case it got confusing santa postcard and the stag paper available now the new uh, advent paper will probably be available next week we just need to wait till we get it in stock all right i'm looking at this thinking what do i need to do do you need a heat gun nope i'm going to put this in water and i'm going to paint this is this a goose? A duck? Somebody painted it in goose. 1984. Should I paint the top white or should I just paint all skeleton key? I'm going to do all oh, skeleton key. These garbage. are going to take more paper mm -hmm. than I might have here. Oh, Rashonda, that paper is not thick because that's the way it will be. That's just thick because we print our test prints locally so we don't have to overnight them. Um, it will be on regular uh, decoupage tissue paper. Cut it too short. All right, we'll have to use that for something else. Yeah. Have we thought about doing downloads that people could, like digital downloads that people could print? Um, if we ever did that, it would definitely not be something that we print because that would be in competition with like our retailers and stuff. But we do digital, we kind of sell digital downloads because if you are a channel member, we do digital downloads pretty much every month for $5 a month and you can print up to 100 copies of it. So like for channel members, we'll have something coming out here in the next day or so. And you guys can print them out on your own rice paper or whatever it is that you want to do with it. All right, did I get a hole? Yeah, all of our JRV, JRV decoupage paper is 30, it's 20 by 30 or 30 by 20 and it's made out of 18 pound paper. Oh, that's, I hate clear tape. <laughs> did you find some tape? I may not be able to get all of these done in the Christmas paper. Your mom says that we are ambitious today and she loves our Christmas papers. I feel like we're ambitious it's every, day, mom. every day. Our ambitions are usually halted by our actual real life occurring. But every morning we get up and we have our little morning meeting and we're like, let's do all this stuff. And then I'm like, oh, let's not. <laughs> let's cut that short. We started walking again at the gym. So we had our morning meeting on the track. Did I get all the paper off? Okay. All right. So these are tapered. So I'm going to try something here. It may overlap a little bit, but I think this is going to be the best course of action. We'll see how it turns out. This is an experiment right here with you guys. That's why I'm just going to be over here painting my duck blue. So 
So I'm just cutting slits up the paper so that as it tapers down, I can fold it over the side. Let's see how it works. I've not tried this before. Might need to go higher with my cuts. All right. I don't know, maybe I'll go all the way inside the lip. I'm not painting the inside though. All right, my cookie jar is dry, ready for a second coat. Very focused over here. Watch out You're for that. You're hyper focused. Am I trying to make all my cuts even? And you see got if your this focus will, face on. See if this will even work. I got my second coat face on. <laughs> it's actually pretty good coverage with one coat, but I want to get better coverage, so I'm doing two coats. So who picked the goose duck? I think I bought the goose duck, didn't I? Or that was did Debbie. I? Oh, Debbie did. Debbie bought that. It's actually from a few weeks ago. We're a little well, bit behind. I paid for it. Debbie picked it out. Yeah. We're a little <laughs> bit behind on our, that's why we did this paint of Palooza. Because I'm like, we do not, because we're leaving out of the country next week, we've really got to get all of our stuff organized and on top of it. Because we'll probably pre-record a thrift haul for one of the Saturdays that will be gone. So that way we don't miss two in a row. And then I don't know if we'll do a live from uh, England. We'll be in England by the second Saturday or what. But for the first Saturday, we'll pre-record it. So we've got to get yeah. ahead on all of our videos so that we can leave town. Because I'd like to say that we can get away with just not doing videos, but we've already been a little bit behind. And it, what it does is if we don't create videos, it doesn't put a shit out in front of people. And then we our website slows down and then our employees don't have hours so we can't leave our employees without hours so we just make sure we make extra content so that way we still get orders while we're out of town so it's just you know one of those things you got to stay on top of the things that people don't know behind the scenes that happen it's it's why you see 83 commercials for uh cereal when you're watching a kid's show you got to be reminded that, that you want stuff so in that note, shop jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this. That was a shameless plug there. Shameless plug, shameless plug. Okay, so I'm using uh, liquid patina. It's different than Big Top as in it's more matte and it's thicker. So um, Deb, Debbie Ross, where, Debbie Rose wants to know, uh, any suggestions for canning soup or chili? So you need to have a pressure canner. And really just know that you can't use cornstarch or flour and can it. You have to use alternative things to thicken your soup with. But um, if you go online, I find that there's so many really good canning recipes out there. We haven't really put a lot of ours down because we We're experimenting them. also with like stuff that's okay for my Hashimoto's. Yeah, so probably by next year, we'll have more recipes out. Maybe we'll even do like a recipe book and put our information out there. But I don't want to just throw random stuff out there. It's one thing if I'm experimenting, but people get really annoyed when you don't really know what you're doing and you put it out there and then it doesn't turn out for them. <laughs> so got to kind of get that underway, underway. All right. I don't know that these are going to be the best for decoupaging. If it's not turning out well, do you want to do... Well, they're just all tapered, and it's going to be a lot of extra work. What is that? I had to slit it. Yeah, that's not going to work out. You're so good at that. That it looks fine. But it's not... Is it going to take too long? Well, I don't know about time-wise. It's just... Yeah, we'll it's actually one. too long. Nope, it's just wrinkling. I don't like it. I'm okay, gonna pull it off. So what are we gonna decoupage then? Um something else. Not or there. what if you just do a smaller part? Like instead of trying to cover the whole thing. Well then we need to paint them full. Yeah, let's do a second coat of cottage color okay. and then we'll cut out some images and put them on there. The How taper was too much. It was like overlapping everything. It was gonna be a thing. All right. I could feel my uh my OCD you didn't was paint kicking this in side. and I was getting an eye twitch. I left it unpainted so I could set it down. Oh. 
Got it. All right, we'll let that one dry. It's just got sealer on it and continue painting these. I can decoupage some. What else do we have? We have nothing else to decoupage. Let's... I could decoupage the bottom of this. I think that would be weird if we painted this and decoupage this. With Christmas decoupage paper? Maybe not Christmas. We have others. Um, I mean, I had time for that. What would I your... think just second coat these, and then we'll cut out the images. Okay. I'll do it if it's. No, I can cut the images out. Oh, you don't. You don't want me to um, do it. I have very good kindergarten crafting precision. You're good with scissors. I mean, I think I got 110% extra credit on okay. my scissor skills in kindergarten. This actually has a really good coverage everywhere else other than that side that you missed. So I'm actually not going to worry about second coating it. Yeah, because we're distressing a little, aren't we? Yeah, we'll distress a little bit and then I'll seal it. So this DIY paint has good coverage. All right. So real time shifting gears. You guys get to see. What it looks like whoop, to be whoop. like, that wasn't going to work how I wanted it to. No reason to keep pressing forward and force the issue and fight it and have it not look good. Do you have a heat gun out? Yeah, over here. Okay. Because I'm going to heat gun my artichoke and my duck so then I can be done with skeleton key. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, me and wifey uh, vote for commercial at home kitchen and a cookbook from Jamie Ray Vintage Home Style. So count two votes. Two votes. See, All right. that's why I see. That's why I have to have that big fancy stove because if I'm going to do a cookbook, I'm going to have to do cooking videos, and you know, it's a thing, right? We actually have a channel called Cooking with Jamie Ray Vintage. Or Jamie Ray, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, if you want Cooking with Jamie Ray, you can look it up. Uh, on YouTube, and you can watch you do biscuits and gravy many, many years ago. Apple butter is what Rashonda was talking about. We have pear butter this year. I we had some this apple morning. Butter. I made apple juice yesterday from our apples in the back, and I just it wasn't cooked. I just pressed it with a cheesecloth after I blended it. I blended it, peel and everything. All I did was core it, and it was such good apple juice. No sugar added, nothing. It was delicious. And that was from our trees in the back. Well, it's fun to try new things like with cooking and canning and things like that it's because like you get, you create, like part of being a creator on YouTube is creating something new. And while I love like the DIYs and the paint flipping, sometimes I just want to do something else, you know? And so it kind of, you gives you that liberty to, when you increase and expand your brand, you can add new things. Oh, Tracy's making pear butter today. Well, and we, we canned in the Le Parfait jars, too. We did a water bath. Yeah. I can jelly. Show you. The jelly's not quite set up. It's, it's not still, quite set, so we'll see it if it actually It takes 24 starts. hours. And it does look a little dark because we're using coconut sugar in a lot of things right now. Yeah, we use coconut sugar. it's very low on so the glycemic level. It's got higher protein. Um, but look at how cool that is in that jar. It looks like dark molasses almost, but it's going to be jelly once it sets up. Peach jelly. Well, if it sets up. We're experimenting. Remember experimentation. Yep. And the uh, the coconut sugar is also like an antioxidant. It's just like any sugar, though, you know, you got to go light on it. On your travels, could you look for dip pens and ink wells? <clears throat> yes, we can. I love ink wells. We're going to look all over France and England for them for you. For what? Ink wells and dip pens. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff will arrive home before us because the plan is to go to France, ship everything back, drop off the rental car, hop on the ferry, go to England, pick up a rental car, and then junk in England, and then ship everything back, and then ship ourselves back out of London. Pomona pectin. I've never heard of that, Leslie. I don't know what that is. Is it a special pectin? Yeah, we used Sure Gel liquid pectin because that's what I had from the last time I made um, strawberry jam. We still have quite a bit of strawberry jam in the freezer. All right. 
Oh, it doesn't require sugar to thicken jams and jellies. Good to know. There you go. Perfect. I will look it up. Thanks, Leslie. That's always good because we're trying to find things that Zeb can eat and that are healthier just in general. I was getting pretty tired of just like corn chips and cheese and meat. Yeah. And I like carbs. I feel like my brain works better on carbs. Yeah, we're not a, we're not a keto diet over here. And so I've been using um, Kamut flour for any time I need to make something. It is a little bit more time involved to make bread and pasta and whatnot, but then Zeb can eat it. So far, it's been all right. Not as many boot sales this time of year. Yeah, uh, there weren't the that many It was the same in March we when there. we were there, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to charity shops. We'll find markets. We're pretty good at finding junk. We don't. We like to go off-season. And also, here's the thing. Like, with us, I would probably like to go prime season. Like, that would be fun to be there when everything else is, like, full swing. But our kids play football, and so we – have to work around that schedule and then summertime is like our travel time with our kids so that can be difficult and our kids have fall break and so we are going to go during fall break so we don't miss any football games at least for my daughter who's a senior we might miss some of the younger kids one game but the the big kids don't have any football games while we're gone that i know of possibly playoffs but usually playoffs they don't start right away after fall break Hi, I'm well, and Lehigh's probably going to get a bye. We're seven or eight no now. Depends the high on how many teams is. there are. Well, there's always the same, uh, same bracket. Yes, Joy. We my I would never just leave my mom here with all the kids and whatnot. She doesn't drive. And Odelia does drive, but she's busy. So we have a nanny um, who stays with us and our kids. And her husband is actually an RN. So that's super handy. And they stay at our house while we're gone. Sometimes my sisters stay at my house. Um, but this time, I've got Megan and Alex coming. And they will be here to help take care of the kiddos and my parent, my All mom. Right. So where uh, do we need another coat on these? Do you think they're dry enough? Um, you might want to heat gun them. Heat gun? But be careful not to get bubbles. Okay. I came over here. Oh, I need more skeleton key. I walked over here and completely forgot. Like, what am I doing here? Can oh, you, you take needed the, me to take that off. Yeah, you needed me to. Um, I'm gonna use my my fork knife, my kitchen my kitchen screwdriver here. So when you do the second coat on these, I did not really go under the lip. So whatever top color get you wind up using, get yourself a sacrificial uh, fork from the thrift store and use it to open all the things. Well, luckily, all of our like. Silverware That's, comes from the thrift store. Yep. We just, when we're there, we're like, oh, we're running low on knives. Kids must have taken them to their rooms or outside or something. We just grab more knives or spoons or whatever it is that we need. All right. So this has enough paint on it. This is ready for a dry brush. So I'll put that over there. I'm going to second coat this. And then what color are you going to do that? Are you going to try, are you going to bust out a new color or are you going to go skeleton? We could triple paint? coat it and bring it back down to the gold. So, but what color do you want to do? Do you want to just do more skeleton key? I can do skeleton key for you after you dry it. Okay. I think, I think the skeleton key will look good on there. Maybe it was last the, week's color du jour. That's, it's I think. a good color. It's, it works for fall. It works for spring. Okay, I, is this a goose or a duck? Um, I'm going to say goose. Okay, it's looking goose is, a little big for a duck. I mean, it could, my goose is painted and I will white dry brush. It could these. pass as a duck. I suppose they want a Zeb blend, a blend. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a, why don't you let me do skeleton key and then you can do something else over the top as a wash. Okay. That'll still be kind of a Zeb blend. Make sure situation. when you're doing your skeleton, you get up in this lip. Yeah. I actually just told you that same thing. I did get in the lip on my I know. One. I'm just saying like, I just said, whoever paints that needs to get under the lip. I missed it. I was focused okay. on what I was looking for. Ooh, better not throw this down too. Careful. Much. Don't break it. Ooh, that this isn't hot. sold yet, so I don't want to break it. Well, I don't want to break it if it's sold either. All right. That is painted. I'm glad you don't do everything pink. Oh my gosh. Cake, cool cake says new color. So I'm going to do skeleton key, but then you're going to need to bust out a new color. 
So what do you think over skeleton so, key? So don't hate me, but what if I do like some summer crush, like way watered down over the skeleton key? Because I think it'll hang in like, like the rust. salt wash, almost like a rust book. Okay. I was ironically just thinking the same thing because I saw it peeking out at me. And Debbie would be so pleased that we use skeleton key. And summer crush. Says, if you go to the dump in England, please video that. The tip, I don't know if regular people can get stuff from the tip or if you have to be like from that show money for nothing i don't know what the rules are on that we'll just hang out outside the tip and be like hey, hey. Borte is traveling england now visiting forestry agro farms still have time between farm walks to see the live that's fun what are forestry agro farms are they like growing trees for lumber or i've never heard of that term Yeah, I think that's dry enough. You can get get some paint on there. Careful, it's a little warm because the tin is very thin. So it, heat, it took the heat. Well, I'm going to paint the underside first. I'm going to paint the undercarriage here. Are you, are you banging on the, the door dogs. with the dogs? I don't hey, think you they too. know what that means. Shh, don't bark at the neighbors. They're nice. There's a horse in the back. Oh, the horse is back? Someone, someone brought their horse back over. You might have to let the dogs inside. I may. Because they can't stay out forever, and this live is going to go long. We've already been live. Oh, it's 11.22. An hour and 20 minutes. I think we're not going to be quite three hours. We're, some of these projects are going to be ready to wrap up here pretty quick. Maybe on the decoupage pots. The decoupage pots might take me three hours. I, I, maybe your blood sugar is getting low. You need like I did two. eat at like seven this Before morning. Before you get back to decoupaging, maybe I should get you a little snack, a little bacon out of there. No, it'll be all right. Fridge. I don't. I feel fine. I, okay, well maybe I feel like I need a bacon. <laughs> you a need bacon. a bacon snack pre-lunch. You don't want. I don't do well hangry. Although neither does Zeb. Zeb can go longer without food, but then when he hits his breaking point, it's like nope. It's usually something little that'll set me off. True story. Like a screw that won't go in the wall, right? Or that keeps falling out of my yeah. drill. Something like that. Anybody else have problems with hanger? When you're hungry, it makes you angry. I think that's everyone. When their blood sugar gets low, it's like science. It's like science. Your you body goes it. into, uh, I need to go hunt mode. And so you're just grumpy till you get fit. Well, there are some people who are like, I forgot to eat today. I'm like, how, how, how that, that is happen? not me. I mean, on any given day, I'm probably burning anywhere. On a light day, I probably burn about 3,000 calories. And on a heavy day, it's probably up around six. All right. I'm painting the front of this. And I'm using, but I eat good. I'm using the paint to kind of backfill. So I'm making sure all the edges get paint in them around the mold. And by backfill, I mean occasionally, especially with resin. And if something's not straight like this is not, you'll get a little lifting along the edge. It can kind of just put paint in there and it fills it right on up. So you're going to do the summer crush wash over this. Yes. All right. Well, people are going to stay tuned for that. It's going to take a minute for this to dry. But so if, you want to, if you don't know what summer crush is, it's another DIY paint color. It's like a really good kind of burnt orange. If you throw another white coat on the front of Leslie's drawers, then you could show some stenciling techniques. Okay. I'm going to put this back here till you're ready. Oh, maybe just over here. No, that's fine. So you're ready for it. Okay. 603 people watching. Appreciate you guys being here with us. That's between Facebook and YouTube. Woot woot. Hangry skipped a generation. <laughs> Gina says she only eats once a day. Wow. That is not the case here. All right. I think here's the problem is will that orange clash? With the gold that's going to be peeking through this. No, and we might not get back to the gold now that you've. Yeah, but there's going to be some gold there. peeking through unless you take an artist brush and really get in there. I don't think it'll clash. All right. I really love these. So, just worst that. case scenario, here's the beautiful thing about paint, right? If it doesn't look good, we come back with another coat of skeleton key over the top like or like a white dry happened. brush. And five minutes right. later, we're done and maybe a couple ounces of paint. Okay. 
That is true. I mean, it's not like I didn't know that, but sometimes I need to be reassured. Because I really like how these are turning out. I was a little skeptical when you bought them, but now that we've added the fancy front, I am liking them. Yeah, they're cool. The, the handles is why I bought them. The ca I probably wouldn't have got them normally, but the cast iron handles, I just, I like those. I'm trying to figure out how I can grow a garden in the winter. Greenhouse. Like a little greenhouse situation in the basement. Just get some grow lights and you can. We have a lot that we've preserved. I actually need to go through our food storage and see what we've got and take inventory. And then I'd say we've probably done it. about 60 or 70 quarts of various things. And we already have food storage in the basement that we already had. Whenever anything's like, we have what's called the case lot sale here. You buy like 12 cans or something. Whenever we have those, we always stock up because it's a lot less expensive. And then if there's a natural disaster or whatever, We've got food and then we try to buy when we're gardening we try to buy heirloom seeds so that way we we have food for now we have seeds for later we preserve food apparently we careful, really you're, like careful food. your prepper's showing my prepper showing hey my i don't want to be hangry is showing okay when you have a family as big as ours it's good to have some food on hand yep and i feel like the kids appreciate food more when they know where it comes from too I had a chicken salad sandwich for lunch. That sounds good, Kai. Oh. Forestry agro farming is combining two or more crops between large areas of trees. It's more crops space. Not many farmers know about those old, probably antique methods. Indians feed, fed whole villages with this method. In Europe, we did the same thing in the early days. So more like instead of clearing fields, just where there's trees in the clearing, growing a garden. Is that what that is? That's actually pretty cool. You can actually grow quite a bit of food in not a lot of space. Our garden was about 1,100 square feet, and we didn't use it as judiciously as we could have. But we literally, like, once it started going, it really helped support our food budget. We haven't bought tomatoes in forever. We have peppers for days, and now we have some canned. So then we've got more that will carry us through part of the winter. And so that's, that's the nice thing about growing a garden. Well, it's fresh. You know what's in the food. That's that's probably the biggest issue for us. Or like, how organic is it really? Yeah. I'm currently growing broccoli sprouts in a mason jar. You know what? I actually have. I love sprouts, and I have the the, top the, handle the mesh tops that go on the mason jar, so you can grow sprouts. What did you can say? Can you hit these handles just a little bit more? I'll spin it so that you can get that, yeah. like right there. That way it's because I'm it? gonna heat gun it and go over with that orange. On the other side, you need me to yeah, do it? both sides. Well, I can't do it. You have to spin it some more. Yeah, I'll just bring it over here for you. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to heat gun. Okay. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I have sprouts in the toppers to grow sprouts. Microgreens. Maybe that's what I'll grow this winter is microgreens. Somebody I was We really do get good sun to the west in these windows in the pantry. Well, I was reading something that said that like the average food, even like, cause uh, there's a lot of articles for like sustainable living, where most food travels like 1500 miles on average to get to you. Before it gets to your grocery store. That's a long way for it to travel. So a lot of our food travels from the backyard. It's not always feasible for everybody, but I think sometimes people get overwhelmed and they think, well, if I can't do all organic, then I can't grow a garden. Or if I can't grow all of my own food, then I can't do home canning. And I think really it's about doing whatever you can do um, and what you, you have time to do. And there's also different seasons in life, right? Like this year, we really had a hard time keeping up with the garden and making it as good as we could have because we were so busy getting the church finished. And same thing with preserving. We could have been a lot better with preserving than we've been, but we're doing what we can. And that's okay. Like you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to do everything yourself. It doesn't all have to be all organic, whatever. Just do what you can. And then as you do a little bit, then you do a little bit more and just go from there. It's just really good skills to have. Mostly I just enjoy doing it. Like it's really, the, the canning process itself is pretty simple for the most part. And then you get to put all your favorite things in jars and you have them later. So Renee says, even here in Yuma, 
where the lettuce capital, lettuce doesn't travel out of fields here to the stores, it goes back east. That is true. So Ampy says, if doing the growing in conjunction with basement, in the basement, looking at doing it with fish. So like uh, hi hydro farming. Oh, yes. I saw that. There's a guy down in Tucson that does that really well. My sister follows him. I cannot remember the name of his he channel. He has a YouTube channel. But he's got like, basically, he filters the water through the garden and it drains down in for the fish. And then that filters back up through. And so he fertilizes, he grows fish and, and uh, his plants go crazy. I need to research that more. His systems, it's, and it runs off of solar. So it's like 100% self-sustainable. Same thing with DIY. Maybe you're not ready to paint furniture, but you can start with smaller thrifted items, get the techniques down and they'll go from there. Because I can't tell you how many times I've had a message from somebody. I decided to paint this family heirloom. It's something large, like an armoire. And it's not turning out right. And they have never painted before in their life. They didn't do a sample board and they're really frustrated. And I'm not saying you can't go big. I'm just saying that if you do, it could be really frustrating. And sometimes it's better to just start out small. So like thrift flips like this, I paid, this was $5, I think, but sometimes you pay as little as a dollar for something. And that's not as scary to me when I'm trying out a new technique to do it on something I spent a dollar plus it's not as big of an area to paint. So it's a little easier to learn new techniques. So there's well, my it's like when box. we built this house, did I have some basic construction skills when we started? Yes. Did I know how to do all the things? Did Jamie know how to put in a floor? Like we watched a lot of videos and didn't just put those videos into practice. Our house is also very not perfect. So if you do <laughs> decide to start homesteading, canning, growing your own food, painting, DIYing, just know that it's not going to be perfect because that's just the way it is. And maybe you should start small, especially if you get anxiety from things not being perfect. It's called, what did I say that therapy was called when you do something that's hard or you're, it makes you anxious, but there's some sort of therapy where if you're exposure like scared, therapy. Of exposure therapy, you expose yourself to things that scare you so you can get over your anxiety. So if DIY scares you, expose yourself to some I have the worst itch lines. in my nose. Maybe it's all. I don't this, know what it is. All this uh, heat. It the heat is again. the leaves are starting to change, and the grass is all. Everything's like seeding out right now. So. Dana says, "Right, I painted shelves, mirrors, frames for the first couple of years. Frames are really great. So frames are really easy thing to start off with." Diana says, "My family was a family of seven, also. So my mom canned all the time. The rule was if you helped." You could go shopping in mom's basement anytime you wanted. I never had to learn, so now I'm learning. My mom made like this vegetable beef stew that I still can't get over when I was a kid. And uh, we would grow special things in the garden all year long. And then in the fall, she would can like 40 quarts of it. And by the time we got to December, it was already gone. <laughs> Cause it was, it was like, if I came home from school and needed a snack, I'd grab a quart of that and that would be my snack. I actually was thinking the other day, we need to get some of those lay parfait jars that we have at the shop and put some of our freeze dried peaches, pears, apples. So that way the kids can have those for snacks. I'm just going to use this. I was looking for something fancy, but we're going with this. Caitlin says she's having some allergies too. Her eyes were super watery this morning. I didn't even know Caitlin. You are a trooper. Have you been here the whole time? I've seen you pop in and out, but I didn't know if you're watching for an hour and a Almost. 34 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so. Can I have the heat gun? Can you heat gun the bottom of this so I can set it down? Yeah, here, I'll bring it over to you. Okay. All right, we're getting ready to do a wash on this. Not everybody's into a wash. We realized that we did a drippy piece of furniture and the non-drippy piece of furniture people came out of the woodworks. Just some just people love it some people don't the drips we do on purpose sometimes because if you've ever painted over an actual old piece of furniture that has already been painted when like back when they were first making it or someone decided they wanted to change their kitchen out and they painted their hoosier or whatever you're gonna find a lot of drips a lot of runs some of these pieces have lived on someone's back porch or in their garage or in their barn forever there's gonna be drips and things and so that's what we try to recreate um with some of these finishes so i'm going to dip my brush in here 
Oh, I had a little bit of that sealer still in this brush. Good thing I dipped it. Drop it was drying it. out. Okay. All right. Now we're going into the uh, the summer crush. Hold on, real quick. Just in, yeah, I just want to tell you thank you. She said that we were. She loved this couple. So I was oh. trying to do that, but I didn't well, want to thanks. interrupt you. All right. No, appreciate that. We we need interruptions like that. Um, I feel like this is like a little bit almost. If you added a touch of brown to this, you'd have terracotta. Um, but it's now, a good fall orange. We use summer crush. I we I would say our summer crush sales double in the fall because it is just a great farmhousey orange. So I've got about this much water in here, about that much there. I one dip of the brush and then I've kind of rinsed the brush out in here, and it's really really wet. Let's get this detail here. I'm going to start at the top. And this is going to dry way lighter than what it looks like going on here. And I'm not going to leave it too super drippy. It's going to get some of that on its own, but I'm just going to brush the whole thing probably with one dip of this orange. The first crush from DIY, the clay in there makes it just adhere to everything. It's super pigmented, so you don't need a ton. And I'm just going to give this kind of like some orange tint. Maybe a little. I'm going to have to dip a couple times. I'm just going to heat gun over here so this is ready for you. Okay. And I've got these are all ready for dry brush, so I'm just moving these out of the way. And it pools up kind of where there's detail. And so it'll be a little more there. But the, the skeleton key, which is the grayish blue color underneath, is going to come through this because it's so thin. I think with a white dry brush, just to hit the top, so the orange will settle down into the cracks, and then a white dry brush to go on the top, I feel like this could be a really good look. Patricia, I hope that you heal well. She's recovering from surgery and washing, watching us. Do we always do long videos on Monday? We don't. No, this we do. This literally was a random video. This is our second one ever, and it was so well received the first time we did it. People just love, and we don't always get to, to painting on the thrift halls as much as we would like, and we hardly ever finish a project on a thrift hall because um, it's at the end of whatever time we have left after show in the hall. Yeah, the we, last time we went we live, lots of people, and people shared loved it out. It. Yeah. And that's super helpful. They like shared out the live. Like while we were live, they shared it out after, like it was really fun. All right, I'm gonna come show you guys this. I'm gonna zoom in on it. So let me just sec here. Oh, there's some, I don't wanna miss too many spots. A little drippy is okay, but on this piece, I don't, I want it to more just settle down in. Okay. So when we're done with these, well, we need to probably reconvene with the pots decoupaging them and then the urn and then your big trophy situation so you can and see we... the orange never fear we're going to do more with that let me see if i can show you so this is the one that's not let me see if i can get it to focus this is the pig we put the iod molds on painted it a couple times and you can see the difference on the two there it's a bougie pig Oops, sorry, I'm trying to tighten my tripod up and it was I was going the wrong way. Somehow that got moved. That's probably dry enough. Oh, that shifted? Yeah, it was over the edge quite a bit. I got it. Okay. It's not quite dry, so. So I'm gonna use that same wash, still just one dip of the brush to do this one. I've got plenty in here. All right, so just I'm gonna move that over there. Yep, oops. It's okay because we're going to white dry brush. Okay. So we're good. Okay. All right. So that's done. That's done. These Leslie's drawers need a coat. So I just don't want to get. I just put a coat on them. Oh, a second coat? Yeah. Oh, I just got skeleton key on it. You had some skeleton key on it. With my finger. All right. I feel like they need a third coat. So the reason we're calling them Leslie's drawers is because she purchased it before we painted it and now we're <laughs> painting it. <laughs> Leslie, I'm painting your drawers. All right, yeah. I'm just going to go the opposite direction, and that will give us better coverage. All 
whites usually take at least three coats. Well, especially on something that, that wood was pretty glossy. That is a true story. So the glossier your finish, the more prep or the more paint you need to do. Either way. Well, and three coats isn't bad with this because it has a built-in sealer. So saves a step there. We might have to come back and sand the sides on these a little bit to clean them up. All right, try not to go too heavy. <laughs> make a match. I'm just but since to make sure. it's a wash, this it really does just dry out really light. Like once these are dry. It's going to be like hint of orange and kind of like the colors blended together more. Okay, so now that I've got my white brush from doing Leslie's drawers, I'm going to come back on my artichoke. I'm going to dry brush it. So you want to make sure that most of the paint is off of your brush. And then you're just going to go over the high areas. Ta -da! I never get tired of seeing how things come alive when I dry brush them. And I like to go both directions. Okay, I'm gonna and then when I seal this, here. it will get a more contrast because the clay paint underneath the skeleton key dries light. And when you seal it, it gets dark. So there'll be more contrast between the white and the skeleton key. We're running out of space. We're running out of space. Well, this is done after are this. Drying. This is going to get put over there. I'm going to move this so they can actually see what you're doing. Okay, I'm just sorry, just dry brushing. I'm going to be dry brushing this duck too if you couldn't really see what I was doing. Okay, I think these are dry enough. Let me put that out of the way so we don't spill that. Do we need the resin again? Oh, we do still need it. Yeah, huh? because we got to do that. Why don't you do that so I can be drying and then you can decoupage? Which ones did you want? The crown and what? Um, the crown and these little ones. The little laurels. I need to eat. You need to eat. It'll be about lunchtime when we're done. Just work faster. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say lunch? Ooh, can you take me to Edna's? I can't. Take oh you no, to they're Edna's. closed on Monday. Oh, I can't take you. To I guess Edna's. we'll eat at Jamie Ray's. It's a good place. All right, top of the duck is done. Bottom of the duck is getting the dry brush, the basket. So we've probably got about 10 projects out of this kit. Um, it's two, so it's 16 ounces total, and you can get a ton of castings out of it. These are done except for ceilings, so I'm going to leave those there. Okay. And I'm going to put another coat on. Oh, I didn't do the top of this. And this is just going to get painted white with a distress and then a stencil on the door. That's what. Oh, do we have sandpaper here outside? Uh, yeah. Do we have the sander at all? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this off with the sander. Somebody filled these holes. Yeah, it's a it. it's a shop project. Somebody got. That's okay. I'll just be shop. here. I'll just be here pouring resin, and so that that orange on that skeleton key is actually making it look kind of like a brownish tone. I kind of like it. I'll show you guys in a sec what I'm talking about. So the newer IOD molds, they'll tell you exactly how much resin or clay you need. They have weight and ounces there. Um, this is an older one. I think the new one might come with it, but the older ones don't have it on there. But I just, you know, I just usually mix up Let's see, I'll do, a, so now I've got extra. So if I mix up too much, I usually try to mix up more than I'm gonna need. And then if I have extra, I'll do some extra pours. We gotta be there. I think that's good. There's not much left in here. Okay, so I got a crown, two laurels, a smaller crown and the B. Was that hooked up with sandpaper on it? Yeah, we need to put a new 
gripper. Oh it yeah. Gripper, but I got it was enough that I could stand this. Yeah. So we get the DeWalt sanders, the random orbital sanders. I can't remember the exact model. Um, they're usually about 60 bucks and you can get, if your Velcro pad wears out that holds the paper on, you can get a new pad for like 10, 12 bucks instead of buying the old sander and put that on there. Okay. I'm going to push this up out of the I way. I think because this is going up against the wall, I can just set it like this. I'm not going to second coat the back. I'm going to wash this brush out because I don't want the decoupage stuff to get orange. I like mentioned lunch and now I'm in hyper mode. Let me get this finished. <laughs> we actually have some of that leftover pork and we have that bread that I made yesterday. We could do pork sandwiches. Yeah. With coleslaw. That sounds good. So right. Let me forget to put the chicken in the instant pot. Okay. So we're still trying to go Christmas theme. Let's see if I have enough papers over here. I cut some up and and ruined it a little. I think you can. I, I have faith in you. I'm going to try to just go smaller. So I think I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Santa here. The essence of Santa. Yeah, when it's circular, going around the whole thing is a little bit complicated. Well, round is fine, but this is the taper is just the hardest. Yeah. Oh, I had drips. No. I know. And they weren't on purpose drips? They were not intentional. There was no intentional dripping. I was in a new shop. It is super good. We have a bunch of little projects to finish. Debbie actually just laid a bomb on us this morning. It's something she wants to do in the future. So we got to get some projects done by spring. So it's always good to have motivation to get things done. Yeah, we got a fun spring project that one way or the other it will probably happen. But yeah, this, the shop is good. We're closed on Monday. More announcements coming soon. We got to line a lot more things out for. We can tell you. So yeah. little teaser out there. Just expect some... It'll be a fairly large announcement when we do announce it. Um, we have Mondays are our restock days and our shipping, like they go through all the thrift hauls. So it's always good for us to do this because they'll ship everything or get it staged to ship because sometimes they pull orders today. And then uh, tomorrow they'll have all the painted stuff and they can get that out. So it's good for us to have it done by Tuesday because the gals that work in the shop also ship for us. We do have a shipping manager and sometimes we'll have two people working. So somebody up front in the shop and somebody shipping. And if nobody's in the shop, then they both tag team ship. So it kind of keeps everybody busy because the shop is good. It's busier than it was before, but it's still not like nonstop customers all day. There's usually two or three people in there once though. That's a true. But story. then it'll go for like half hour or so and no one will be in there. And every time I start filming. Oh, I don't I have my. Sorry, guys. Your mic is still on the counter, Mike. Sorry, I probably yelled at you now. Okay, so I just went with a small section. Don't have to mess with the taper. Cut it down to size out of that. What I did was, let's, I'll do it. Oh, I got some paint on it. I'll fix that. Um, but so liquid patina first, put the paper on, liquid patina over the top. Once it's dry, I'll probably do another coat over the whole area to really seal it in. And this will be good to go. Now we have a fun little Santa um, pot. All right. Maybe this one, did I say a smaller brush? This is an F30. Maybe this is what I was using on the rooster frame. Could have been. All right. I need to open my blue iris. I'm here for it. Uh-oh. When do we leave for Europe? Next Thursday. Got some orange drips on this thing. And we will have mess. a pre-recorded thrift haul. Not this Saturday. This Saturday we'll be live, but the next Saturday we'll Yeah, so we leave Thursday in like the, the afternoon. afternoon yeah, and we arrive stuff. there Friday in the morning. Yeah. And we're hoping to get enough sleep on the plane that we can just go straight to the Paris flea. The last and time that was not true. If the Paris flea is good, we might hit it up like a yeah. couple days in a row. But if we hit the Paris flea then we maybe don't have to go back into Paris and then we can focus on the outer area 
we're staying on the Normandy side. We're staying in Gavirni. Yeah. So we might go back by Monet's garden, see what it looks yeah, like in the fall. Yeah, because that's there. That's like right there. It's like five miles away. It was fall the last time we were there, and it was pretty. The flowers were still good. Yeah. I actually like the little whole cottage village thing set up there. That is true. It was good. Okay, next. Maybe we should have heat gun this not all the way dry, even though I painted it like I feel like an hour ago. It's like the first thing I did. I'm not worrying about getting it into all the cracks because I'm doing like a layered paint finish. So it's okay that some of the white from the base is coming through. That's the desired effect. That's why I did the, the um, paint frosting and stippled it on there for texture. Come on, kindergarten, don't let me down now. See if there's any questions. So originally we were going to go hit up the south of France. But I got lazy. And we realized last time we went, we had some people who could speak at least a little bit of French with us. And this time, Jamie nor I speak French. So we're like, uh, let's stay on the side closer to England where most everybody, because once you're up like into Paris, there's a lot of people that speak English there. And we've been there before. So we have we know a little bit about what to expect on that side of I feel like France. Europe's pretty blessed and it's kind of like a huge melting pot and those countries are all like they they hang out, they talk and they travel to they speak multiple languages. other countries. And so they're all like speak three, four different languages. They can get by pretty well over here in the US. I mean, there are a lot of people that speak a lot of different languages, but unless you're speaking Spanish out west here, you probably just speak in English. There's a lot of Chinese. There's a lot of Chinese immersion. Yeah. There's not a lot of people from China. I'm just saying there's a lot of kids that can speak Chinese. It's good for international business. All right. Yeah, they have programs in high school and like from what, sixth, seventh grade on? Yeah. They start teaching them Chinese. My stencil Leslie's drawers. You could pick other languages. There's French and Spanish too. I think Eliza took a class where they learn lots of different languages. <clears throat> I speak Spanish because I live next to the border and I took Spanish in high school. So I can read French. I, pronunciation, different story. I don't think there's any paint over here. All right, so I'm going to need, I see I'll write like 8,000 times. So hopefully That's I'll- That's because you're thinking the steps through in your mind. Yeah, we need the number stencils on this next. I'm just gonna okay. heat gun these so they're super dry. I'm going to go put these real quick outside so that they can get dry without the yeah, need that'll of the be good. gun. Set them in the sun. Thanks, Renee. She says she loves that. It's because blue iris is periwinkle, so it has a purple undertone, and purple is my sister Renee's favorite color. So I'm not surprised that you like that. She's ready to be a Lehigh pioneer. She is ready. She was born for it. Oh, Tammy's painting her bathroom. We're keeping her company while she's painting. Oh, fun. That's fun. I, That's hard to get a project done sometimes when you're by yourself, but if somebody talks to you, this makes it a lot easier. So you should stop to see Philip and Anna in Normandy from renovation of a chateau on YouTube. Is their chateau open to the public? I don't know if they just want us to like stop by. Be like, hey, we do YouTube too. Can we be besties? So this is a, one of our stencils. I think it's called like the farmhouse stencil. They're about an inch. Um, and it's got the whole alphabet and then the numbers. So you can do anything you need. It's all caps. Renee says Lehigh purple is the best. It is like a really great jewel tone purple. If I have to pick a color for something, it just makes life easy. I'm like, oh, I'll just do. Are we doing the numbers. that in skeleton key? Those, are, those, are those numbers big enough? Yeah, they'll be plenty big on those. Let me grab the stencil brush. Hey, where are you going? I'm looking to see if I want bigger numbers. Do you want bigger numbers? Please, well, we're both off camera right now. And numbers. Oh, we're both off camera. Sorry, guys. So. 
uh, the uppercase alphabet. Uh, I got another stencil brush if you decide you want to go with bigger. So lowercase. I do the numbers. I don't remember which set. This is the remember when we had the alphabet and number set? I don't even know if we still carry this. If Caitlin's on here, she can tell us. Yeah, these are a little bit bigger. I want to do these. Okay. So the ones They're I just chunky. showed you we're not going to do. Yeah. They're chunky. We carry a lot of different letters and um, numbers on JanuaryVintage.com. So you can check them out in our stencil section. If you are buying stencils and you're like, you know what? I don't want to spend a ton of money and I don't know what I want to do with it, but I want something versatile. I would say definitely get yourself a letter and number set. The farmhouse one inch is great because it's just one sheet. So it's not super expensive and it's good for smalls, but then you can use these for any holiday for any season or to customize stuff because you can spell whatever word that you want to spell. So more bang for your buck with the alphabets. All right. So we got one. Oh, this is the, um, italics you know we did those the old oops the turn of the century Ital yeah. italic like the old font that we had made and so it looks like an eye and yep people are like that's an eye but but it's actually a one this is still a little damp here okay i'll steal this one then and start okay you just want to go with the skeleton key on here right yeah so that way i'll coordinate i with think the base. i'm going to go higher up so that i can center on this little tab here really easily that jamie what do you think of that going higher up right here yeah as long as that's the right direction yep we'll show you once we get these stenciled what they're going in and then we probably won't sand on camera just because it's kind of messy but we'll lightly distress them and then clear wax everything off camera okay so just a just a hint of paint here i'm just going to offload and then got that centered where i want um, so Crystal, if you go to jrvwholesale.com, we actually have over 200 retailers that carry our stencils. And so you can apply to be a retailer for your booth. And as long as there's nobody in your same re your same mall or like right next to your mall, then you can sell them. We don't offer territory specifically. We just try not to put somebody in the same antique mall with them. I'm going to move these back here as I get them done because there's getting to be a lot of paint on my drop cloth situation. Yeah, that's why I, uh, I, I need put these on the two. towel. There's two. Um, this one, let me just, okay, you're good. You just got paint on there. That's fine. I'm going to distress it off. Okay. Did I get all, on my finger? Okay. How does the drawer pull out? So this, this is not upside down. So if he's doing it that way, this is the bottom. So that's the bottom of the number. He's doing, he's doing it right. Three, four, five. Okay. Where's my baggie? I'm just glad that I organized these a while back because so my letters and numbers letters. were all over the place. So I'm going to leave this here so I can put them back in there when I wash them. We'll get it all together and show you what it's going to look like in a sec. All right, so one, two. Let's see, make sure three is going the right direction. <laughs> Working upside down here. And where did I put that little? Oh, it rolled over here. That will bring it up close in a minute. It takes such little paint to do. I need to get a little brush. Stenciling. Seb, once we get it finished, you can show them close on the camera, but then would you move it over here so we don't get it messed up? Yes. And then we'll bring everything back when we're finished and um, you guys can see it all before we seal it. We'll probably, like I said, we'll probably seal it off camera just because we're going to distress some of the stuff with sandpaper in the garage and it's kind of messy. Oh, that's looking clean. Is that I a like good thing? It. I like it a lot. I'm very delicately painting the knob with this turquoise iris brush. I don't even know which one this is. I think it's from the magic pack, but she uses the brushes to do like high end art. And I use them to paint thrift finds because I like to use a small detail brush on things like this. It gives me more control when I'm two toning. Okay. 
And this will be done except for sealing and distressing as soon as I get this knob done. And this knob might take a couple of coats. I'm using the cottage color white linen for all of our white. It's like a really bright white and I love it. So yeah. It's like what the whole house is painted in in the shop and yeah, very bright whites. I got a little bit of speckle where I don't want it. So if you guys recall this, I'll set it off to the side. So it doesn't get messed up. But this was the cookie jar we were working on earlier. And I'll show you what it looks like with the stuff put back in it. There we go. Ta-da! That's so cute. So Can imagine just... that with a little bit of distress around the edges. And it'll be darker because we're going to seal it. That's very yeah. bright. Like, I don't even have the camera brightened up. That's just natural lighting in here because we have so many big windows. I'll have to pull this back out before I seal it, but I'm going to show you guys the cookie jar. So here's. All right, I'm going to keep decoupaging. I think the skeleton key was because it'll get darker when it dries, so it'll really match this light blue color oh the movie recording stopped oh here, here. I'll, I'll have it. you fix it sorry it's bright Ooh, stop touching it <laughs> what did i do what did i do fix it you right, fix now it you okay show. now i can come back yep all right so again it's going to need an extra coat on the knob here's that cute little cookie jar and it's got the cross stitch in it and so i picked the skeleton key to match that smoky blue color and this will get darker when i seal it isn't that cute? Little vintagey cookie jar. So we we have this giant phantom that we bought at Home Depot out front, and people stop by the house no less than forty-two times a day, especially with kids, to show them. It looks kind of like if you've ever watched uh, Harry Potter, it looks like a Dementor. It's fifteen feet tall, and it also lights up. So at night, especially, and it's got like the a house wavy is very cloak. popular. Wavy cloak on it. I wanted the big, huge skeleton that they've got just for funsies. But they were out. I thought this was what he wanted. And I brought it home. He's like, that's not a skeleton. I'm like, it looks like a skeleton. Just curious, when you're working like this, just the two of you, not live, do you just talk as much or work quietly or listen to music? <laughs> uh, I would say about as much. Yeah. There's a lot of like in between stuff when we're not just sitting here in front of the camera. There's a, hey, let the dogs in and out. We'll we stop check and on, go a lot more. We'll, we'll 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 get everything painted, and then we'll go grab lunch, or we'll go run an errand, or you know things like that. So it's not like nonstop just sitting here painting a lot of the times, like we're doing now because of the light. You have thing. a white. I need that Klingon. I've got some splatter on this, and so I'm gonna splatter. Splatter. It was in the splatter some skeleton zone. key splatter. Yep, and then move it out of the way, and then we can stencil it. But when we were walking this morning, I would say, because we do usually about a mile and a half walking in about half hour, then we come home and we read scriptures with the kids and feed them breakfast and get them out the door for school. And I would say like pretty much this morning, it was mostly constant talking about what we were going to do today, what we wanted to do in the next couple of weeks. We'll probably, that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably plan out like our trip to... Europe while we're doing our walks in the morning. <clears throat> Talk about new design stuff we want to implement, how we're going to implement it. You know, it's like a it's like a full on like family planning slash business meeting. I keep I'm dropping paint off of my hand. Yeah, I need to wash my hands. I'm getting contamination here and there. Okay, so liquid patina, our favorite decoupage medium. On goes the paper. And then a coat of liquid patina over the top.
Oops, I got that one on a little crooked. Let me see if I can save it. Oh, 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 okay. If it wasn't this small, there's no way I'd be able to do that. It probably would have ripped. But since it's tiny, I was able to pull it off and retry. Okay. That actually is making that lay down super smooth. Since so you just need something smaller because it's tapered. Yep. So. So if, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Those are so cute. You know what I think they need? When they dry, let's get some dark wax and kind of age them a little bit. Those are cute. All right. I need a stencil for that or like a transfer or something for the front of my little. Okay. There's thing. a bunch. I just of, saw we that got I missed a ton of stencils over there. The side of this. To get around this knob i need to find something that'll fit like that oh, i'll leave you here i'll leave you to it while okay. i find something that'll fit i'm just space. cutting paper out just cutting paper yep triangles and circles and squares i had to cut this it's getting to be too much to hang on to So just lining it up. I'm having to trim these a little bit because the jar, the pots are smaller than the design. But so some of Santa's feet are going away, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see if we can do a wider one without having the taper mess up too much. Oh, I need to trim more off the top. Do we have any questions while I'm sitting here? No questions. Patricia says that she loves us so family focused. Well, we try, you know, that's at the end of the day, the reason we do all of this stuff and self-employed and do all of this is so we can hang out and do more things with our kids and not miss any football games or dance competitions or whatever it is that we're going to cheerleading. Like that's, that is why we do it. So we try to make all the time we can to, to be there for those things. Okay. And then you guys get to hear about it. Cause that's what we're doing. Yeah. I don't really have a life outside of this and my kids. In case you were wondering, there's no secret life of Jamie Ray. Did you, she got bacon snack while she was over there. I'm hungry. I'm just wondering if you can do this. Maybe if we just open it a bit easier. I need you to stencil this on here for me. The bird twall. Yes, I can stencil that. Let me do, I need one more <clears throat> little paper here. Leah says she's back from the doctor and grocery shopping, and we're still on. We are still here. Yeah. So long that Jamie had to get a snack. I was starting to go cross-eyed. So I think I'm going to try to do this one a little sideways. Did you do the resin for your trophy? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm going to glue that. Yeah, we got to. We might be on here three hours. But we've done a lot of projects. Well, that's a good thing I had a snack. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be ready for lunch. Is there a new Italian place you were wanting to go to? Yes, there is a new Italian place. We gotta hurry up before we go there, though, because. Oh yeah, you gotta do. I got carpool. Did you say you made carpool. them? Oh, they're already done. Okay. Yeah, I made them. Let me move this over. You guys can see what I'm doing here. So we made these from, is it the Fleur de Lis? I believe so, yes. Is that one that's called, or Laurel? Laurel. The Laurel, the yes. The Laurel mold, and it's a crown, and then some greenery. And some bees. And I'm just going to do greenery on top, greenery on bottom. Do you think that's good? Good talking to you. 
Um, yeah, that looks that looks fantastic. You're hyper focused. I, I I'm trying that. to get this done, and then I got I was just you mentioned Italian food, and I'm like I was, and it. then I smelled the bacon a little bit, and then Did I you? remembered that we had the stuff out there. Oh, so I'm just pulling this off. Oh, can you glue that on for me, and I'll go get the things outside that are drying. Yeah. Okay. This is your layout. So I've just been just squeezing out a tiny little bit and kind of mushing it on there. It works out pretty well. Yeah, these definitely need a white dry brush, but I do like the Summer Crush. Yeah, wash. it got it, it. It it wasn't necessarily like overpower, poweringly. It didn't, Over. The orange didn't overpower it. Then we'll phrase the sentence like that. Um, but it kind of made it brown. Are we doing anything else? I guess I could do. I could paint this with blue iris for a base coat, and then I'll put this in the water. There you go. Okay, give those maybe like a couple seconds or just go, just go. It really <laughs> dries on metal fast. That the dogs wheel. are being pretty well behaved. Oh, Rex is out on the pool cover. They love laying on the pool cover because it's like, a, it's like a big vinyl situation and it can hold up to 500 pounds. So the dogs just run all over it, all over the top of it all the time. Um, and Rex is out there laying on it, like bathing in the sun. Is the heater on it? The pool, it's hot. The hot tub was at like, I had it up to 96 yesterday. We got to get in that hot tub today. And oh, then wow. we didn't get in it. I know. Well, I fell asleep waiting for it to get warm. That is a problem. All right. Got my base coat on here. I was wondering why they're being so quiet. They're taking their nap on the pool. It's like a big waterbed. They're black dogs, so they get nice and warm in the sun. They will not be happy about it next summer, but now that it's cooling off. They, they just, are. so I don't want to say that we neglected them because we definitely took care of all their needs, but they did not get brushed out as often as they should have this summer while we were finishing up the shop uh, renovations and things. So they both just got taken down to about half an inch. The groomer was like, I'm going to have to take them way down. So they're looking kind of skinny and scraggly. <laughs> now well, Rex is all, he's all hips and bones. It looks like a sheep <laughs> after they've been shorn is what they look like. It's funny because Rex knew he looked stupid. <laughs> he looked at me like, are you kidding me right now? Uh, and he was Cody like, I was so fine. majestic before. Cody's fine because he's a little dog. So it's not as big of a difference, but yeah. Rex lo knows he looks stupid. It's all right. All right so I probably used half the elements on this paper to do these five pots, but they were pretty small. There's still a bunch left. So this, I'd already used some before we got started and I still, I guess not half, maybe a quarter of the elements. So I still have these images that we could do other projects with. And then these, I cut one of these in half, but I still have the hot air balloon that says Christmas greetings down there in the corner and the big Santa. So, we used it on something else before this, didn't we? Or yeah, no? it was. Our, this is our second project on these. So let me. I'm gonna come pan them close for you guys. Oh, you might want to be careful. You're in splatter zone. I'll move. I guess I might want to be careful. It's the appropriate word there. Those would be good with like some Christmas greenery or uh, some poinsettia stuff coming out the top. I have some greenery in the garage, but they don't sell online and I stage them in the shop. I can put some of the greenery in them. Okay, let me move those since those are finished. We'll probably have to stage all this up at some point. Yeah, there's some room over there. Okay. And then once I get this painted with the water lily, if you want to um, put it outside to dry. Yep. Then we can then dry I can brush it your, or do whatever I'll do it is. your stencil on the back here. What color do you want on that stencil? I think this already sold, so I gotta make it awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, whatever color you want. Do you want to do a different one? Are you just gonna white wax that when you're done? Um, I was gonna maybe do a dry brush. Okay. That's also a good option. You know me. I, I get fixated on things and dry brush is currently my jam. All right. So this the is question the... is should I paint the inside of this or should I just leave it the Metal color. So this is, um, I would leave it the metal color because if they're going to put something, what if they put like fruit or something in there like I was talking about the other oh, okay. night? Okay, I'll just paint the lip then. 
All right. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the bird twall that we've got, and it does have, so the register marks are actually on the twall, and you can just repeating pattern this. But I don't think you're going to have to. What color did you say? Whatever you want. Oh, what? Leave that uh, to me, huh? That's dangerous. Well, right now, I'm very precariously painting this on my hand, trying not to drop okay, it. Okay, well, I'm, I've been loving the, I already have skeleton key on my brush, and that's the theme of the day. Kitchen screwdriver to the rescue. It's the paint du jour. Paint du jour. I mean, I could do for, or I could Ooh. do the summer crush. No, you may not do summer crush on that. <laughs> it's not. It's not really my jam. Okay, I'm gonna use the bigger stencil brush on this because it's a bigger pattern. I'm like, do what you want, but don't do that. Ah. Okay, I now have water lily on my hair. And then because of the way the stencil's going, I think I'm gonna stop about right here. So I'll make a line. I don't know where to put this. Put it outside. I'm Is that gonna. where you're headed? Okay, I'm going to go with the smaller one. It's very detailed. I saw some drips. Now i got to take my paintbrush out there and fix it. Outside? On my, no, on my... On my trophy. Oh. Okay, so you saw me go with the, I was gonna use that bigger brush, but the bristles were so thick and wide, they weren't going down into this small pattern. And I'll bring you, I'll bring you close so you guys can see in a sec. Um, so I went back with the smaller brush. This is the half inch JRV stencil brush, and it's going right on in there just fine. And we're getting a good crisp pattern. Doing a little swirl and pounce technique. Okay. This is less exciting in live. It's more fun on the edited videos when I'm like, okay, here we go. And I stencil for like three seconds and then I pull it off and it's done. <laughs> All right, I fixed it. I also missed a few spots, so. I think we're good now. I think we're good now. I'm not. I'm not positive, so I'm not going to wash my brush yet. But I'm going to move it out. You're away. not going with 100 percent, like 98. Say so like 98 percent good. Okay. All right. Now I can dry brush this. Did the trophy sell? I believe the trophy did sell. Yeah, I think that's gone. I think that sold Saturday night. A lot of the thrift stuff does. Um, and even the stuff that says will be painted, it sells before we paint it. Because if not, you know, by the time we get it painted, it's usually gone. So if you wanted it, I mean, we're, I think we're these, pretty consistent. I think these are available, but I have not, like if you bought it, then you wouldn't be guaranteed a, a sheep or a pig. Probably when I relist it, I will put like sheep, pig, so they can pick what they want if it hasn't sold already. I'm not yeah. positive. All right, so there is the dry brush, and you can kind of see the orange in the cracks. And then when we seal it, you'll be able to see it a little bit more because it'll get darker. I might come back through and do the birds a different color because they're kind of hiding. This is a pretty busy pattern. I've got a bird here and a bird there. So I might come back over them and just maybe hint of some other color, maybe white. I don't think so because when we seal it, it'll get dark again and you'll be able to see them. Hmm. But I mean, dealer choice. All right, where are we at with these? Are these ready for a wax? What? No, I'm dry brushing. Oh, you're dry brushing them right now. You've got one over there. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all. But I if, was super focused if on my stencil. you dry this real quick with a heat gun, then you could wax it. Okay. And it won't, it's probably mostly dry anyways. All right, I think we're almost, 
We're almost on the home stretch here. We got to do your blue iris thing in the trophy, right? Uh huh. Yep. And we're getting there. If you wanted to, I do have some uh, golden rule wax over here for whatever, if you want to put that on something, because that always looks good with your dry brush and then the golden rule. It's very French country, that golden wax. Yep. Hold on, let me get the top size. If you see any spot where you're like, that could use more white dry brush, let me know. Okay. It probably won't show up on camera, but you can definitely see the summer crust summer crush wash I can, i'm gonna zoom them in on here and it definitely looks like rust i'll zoom them in before i wax because once we wax it it's not going to show the true oh right here you missed this whole handle okay because it'll get quite a bit darker until it dries once we put the summer crush on there what is the color of the paint you've been using again so we've been using skeleton key white linen which is a cottage color and we used um summer crush which is the orange and water lily which is the periwinkle blue color yeah what do you guys use to price pieces in store when you can't find, tie a tag we um have a we have stickers that print out and we put that on them or we use little round tags and write it out but we have a upc skew and so we can just print out tags. We don't always hang tags on everything. In fact, I would say we use more printed tags than anything. Okay, we're going to get the zoom in so you guys can see the colors. You ready? Because what happened is the orange sits down in the cracks and the white goes on the top. And so it really... I mean, if you, guys, if you guys have seen, watched the video from the start, or even just seen what these look like in the thrift hall on Saturday... You can see the difference between what they were and what they now are. You, you guys can see the orange, especially pooling up down there. And the orange, I think it goes. I think it works no, really you well. No, you were right. What? Stop I know. It. I just wanted to make sure I slowed down when I said that because I didn't want you to mistake it for something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have this. You want to just dry brush this while you get the dry brush out? So this, yeah. this yeah. is a um, tree skirt that we thrifted. It's been a couple weeks now. It was when Debbie was here. Um, and I think it has been used, but it's in really good shape. And we're just going to dry brush it because the brown is kind of blah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, how much of my white? I would say I, a solid. There's probably about 30% of that is white dry brush. And then most of the surface area is a skeleton key. So maybe... Maybe 20% dry brush. It looks like more than, than what is actually covered there. All right. So this lost your audio. Did the audio go out? Let me know if somebody else can't. Did you sell the planters as a pair? No, they are individual. Um, we still have plenty of we still have plenty of uh, power on all the mics. Renee had to go be a boss at work. Oh, Renee. Boss it up. So literally, I'm just dry brushing this. That's all I'm doing. But Alley it's adding way more texture. And Mary say that they can hear us, and Leslie, they can all hear us. All right, we're good. Okay, so if, it's, if you've lost audio, that might be all right. on your end if everybody so else can hear us. Probably less than half an ounce of paint and two minutes to dry brush this tree skirt, and it totally frosted it up and made it look way better. <laughs> it frosted it up. It, did it make it drippy? It's the drip. No. So apparently, oh, drip yeah, is that. a really cool outfit. That's what the teenagers say now. Like if somebody has a really nice outfit that's like high end, they call it, it's drippy. How's, how's my drip? Your outfit is great. The Lehigh, my outfit is the same. Like the Lehigh every, Pioneer shirt and the thrifted shorts. And every day my outfit is pretty much the same and it's got paint on it somewhere. True story. All right. Ta-da. Now these look kind of like weathered barn wood. Love it. Okay. We're going to, and if they don't sell online soon, we will get a Christmas tree and set it up in the store. So I might wait to wax this. I'm going to go get that piece so okay. we can finish some of these pieces up. Cause I I'm don't gonna, know that we're going to get, we, I, I kind of maybe just want to do a wax a palooza off camera. A wax a palooza off camera. Yeah. So I'm coming back with more white over the top of these little white dry brush situation. And then I will 
this is going to get a clear and a dark wax for sure. And maybe some gold wax. So you'll have to stay tuned for the, uh, I'll do a reel and show them all waxed up. Zeb, do you wild. want to grab my phone real quick and film me? Oh, sure. I, I've really been sucking at creating. Because while here. filming is, uh, uh, waxing is super exciting. I mean, watching wax dry is not. All right. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. Um, is the skeleton key darker than haint blue? I would say yes. It's more gray. Haint yeah. blue is a very, very soft blue. And not a baby blue, which is sometimes hard to find. All right. So this is going to stay like this. And then I will clear wax and dark wax this and then add some gold on the details. All right. What was the plan with this? You're going to dry brush this too? Yeah, that's going to get dry brushed too. And then I think that's it. Then we can clean up and show everybody. Well, while all you're dry brushing it, I you will. You can start I'll, setting it up. Yeah, I'll clean up over okay, here. Okay, so you guys will get the. Because we have made a mess. <laughs> for two and a half hours, what did you invest in? What do you get to see? And then just picture everything clear and dark wax. It'll pretty much look done. the same as it does now. But when we dark wax, it's going to get a little deeper and then it'll dry back to pretty much about where it's at. And I like to let things dry really, really good before I start getting into waxing. Plus, I got to wash my hands, get a clean surface. So, probably it'll be good. eat. Aunt Leslie's Aunt B, sometimes skeleton key is gray, sometimes blue, and sometimes in between. <laughs> it really does depend on the lighting and what it's paired with. Grambo said, I'm a dip, so I don't get, I won't get the drip. <laughs> Every time my kids say that, or like when they're excited about something, they'll say, let's go. And I'm like, go where? Eliza and Roderick don't think I'm funny. What color is the blue again? So this is water lily, and then the blue gray that we've been using is skeleton key. Those are the two blues. And you can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com. We saw 570 people watching on a random Monday. I feel like that's yeah. That's they've been good. we've been holding close to 600 for quite some time. You guys are dedicated. All right, maybe do this and let this front dry just a touch because I heated some glue up and it bubbled out. So when people talk about their levels of JRV dedication, you can be like, <laughs> but did you watch the entire paint of Palooza? Okay, I'm just cleaning up over here. So I'm just going to clean up so I can bring out everything that we did over two and a half hours and show you. You can see how if you really lay things out like this, you can get a lot of projects done in a little bit of time. I mean, there were two of us, but it probably only would have taken another hour if we were by ourselves to do all and this. And it would have been through the course of the day, like intermittently through through stuff. I do have to say that's probably the difference when we're not live. We don't use a heat gun. So we just like base coat everything, go rotate the laundry, go work on something we got to do on the computer. <laughs> And then um, we'll come back. Whereas if we're live, we don't really want to just sit here and watch paint dry. So we have to heat gun it, speed up the process. I'm pretty sure when I listed the trophy, I was like, trophy will be painted and made cooler than it already is. So I yeah, feel that's, like that's what it did say. I feel like I have listing. successfully made this the coolest. No, it's it's way better than it was when I found it. I don't even remember how much. Was that $4, $5? Um, I think it was 5 bucks. I can't remember. Put your fruit in it. This is not the world's easiest thing to dry brush here. It's easier when there's lots of texture. This is more flat. Well, it's picking up your paint. You, that's the nice thing about the DIY paint is it's thick, so you're picking up all the brush strokes. Yeah, you get the brush strokes, and it gives you a texture when you dry brush. So when people ask me, they're like, how do you not get brush strokes with DIY? I'm like, that's the best part, the texture. Like we're trying. You to can get the brush strokes. if you spray it, but, you know, that's not why I use this. I want the brush strokes. It's the clay paint situation here. Just 
be careful not to fling any white over here. Oh, okay. I'm starting Leslie's. To bring, starting maybe, to bring stuff in. Maybe be careful. <laughs> Last time we did the Painted Palooza, we were live for like four hours. It got into the evening and like kids and started and coming home. Three and a half, something like that. I don't know, but I think we did more projects too. Oh, this makes this uh, molds look so good. I'll show it to you guys up close. All right, this is still going to get a dark and clear wax, but oh, careful where you're setting this because there's like a big pile of wet paint right here. I saw it. Okay. You'll notice I am west of the paint border. West of the paint border. Those Fantas came out so stinking cute and they're gonna be even cuter when we dark wax them. Rashonda says she's almost finished with her paint project. She needs to let it dry so she can make sure she's blending it right. Zeb, there's an antique motorcycle and cars place by Deer Creek Reservoir in Wallsburg. It's a fun place for family. We'll have to check that out. Nice. Zeb, Deer Creek. Uh, Janice is watching and polishing brass candlesticks. All right. Is there anything else we're missing? Anything outside? Nope. That's the backwards pig. Backwards pig. We'll do a slow I'm trying pan. to avoid your uh, painting. My white dry brush situation. Yeah, that you just dumped. <laughs> well, if you get a little white on the bottom of these, it'll be okay. Okay. And then where's the cookie jars up the there? The cookie jars up there. Here's this. Oh, oh, oh we're I'll time again. All right. And here comes the pan. It's what you've all been waiting for. Is it? Again, nothing is distressed and nothing is waxed and, and dark waxed and gold waxed, but. I don't hear any oohs or ahs. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Polly says, you guys make getting flipped project done so easy and fast. Well, and whatever your decor is, like you, we use these colors. You use whatever color you want or that you love, and you can do the same thing. Um, that's the beauty of painting all of this decor. You can update it, refresh it, and make it what you need it to be for your space. Um, Renee gave me a smiley heart. Judy says it all looks great. Lulu says the artichoke is her favorite Oh, nice. Um, I actually surprisingly I love these. I these I did not like these at all. Like legit, when you bought them. When you bought, when I saw you eyeball them when I came with them in my cart, you were like, "It's because the flat front." So that really, like your face always gives you away. Uh, it really is good. So I love the molds and the stencils and the decoupaging. If you guys want to make over your own thrifted finds or just home decor that you have at your house, mm -hmm. you can visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Thanks for joining with us for Paint Palooza.